people away from the stadium here at the beginning. I'm sure it's tough getting in here. It was absolutely awful, like a monsoon earlier this morning, but the weather has really calmed down. The winds have calmed down. A light rain at the moment, and it's supposed to get better as we go. Willie Ponder is waiting deep. The Giants will start with a football. And that means we'll get an early look at Eli Manning as Ponder has to get up and get it. Tiptoes out across the 20. Penalty flags come in as Ponder's brought down at the 22 by Keith Adams. And right out of the chute, we've got a penalty flag. During your turn, holding, receiving team, number 82. Half the distance to the goal, first down. Asante Shanko, who has been demoted and is now number three in the tight end depth chart with a little hold there. A little hold. Wow. <laughs> Jason Short got a takedown from Vasanti Shanko. Now, when I talked to the referee, Terry McCauley, today before the game, on his way out of the production truck, he said, be kind to us today. And I don't know if I was that was for me or if I was supposed to relay that. Why are you looking at me? To. I, both. Yeah. Should be looking at me. Eli Manning hands to Tiki Barber. Thought about the inside, takes it outside. And he's brought down at the 14 yard line, a gain of five by Sheldon Brown. And we look at the offense, this line, which has been publicly battered all season long, done a good job in the run game. And it's Chris Snee, the rookie, still starting at the right guard spot. The backs and receivers, and Tiki Barber will have a lot to say about who wins this game. Jeremy Shockey became the favorite target in that first start last week for Eli Manning. Tiki Barber again. Big hole for Barber. Big run for Tiki Barber. No penalty flags, and Barber is out of bounds at the 48. You know, you're starting to see this more and more from offensive teams. They go to a full house backfield. They got two fullbacks, but it's Jeremy Shockey and then Finn, number 20. And it keeps the defense off balance as to which way they're going. They decide to run right up the middle. They get good push up front by the offensive line. Tiki Barber doesn't require much of a hole. There was a big one there, however, and a big game. 33 yards for a guy who's up over 1,000 for the third consecutive year. They do an end around. This is Hilliard. He has blocking in front of him. Ike Hilliard with a big gain. Another first down. Knocked down just shy of the 35. 17 more yards. Shockey with a good block on that play. And I would say the Giants are in business early running the ball. Anytime you get a reverse that works, the backside tackle has to do a little trick. That time Luke Pettigrew circled all the way around his man and then walled off the corner allowing Ike Hilliard to take off down the field and the best friend for Eli Manning is this running game right now. But these fans at Giants Stadium want to see Eli put it in the air. And they won't get their chance as Eli is smacked at the 35. Back to the line of scrimmage Corey Simon who has been a bit of a disappointment this season for the Eagles up front was in on that play. Yeah, and part of the reason that Corey Simon has been a disappointment, he's put on a lot of weight. You know, he's not playing at near the playing weight that he was a year ago, and as a result of that, his production has declined. My guess right here, Troy, is that we'll see a run out of the Giants. They do not want to be third and ten against Jim Johnson's defense because that's an automatic blitz. They'll try and get it down to about second or third and five. So they throw, and the ball slips out of the hand of Eli Manning. It's a loose ball, still loose. And the Giants end up on top of it. You know, we just happened to talk a week ago to Eli Manning about throwing a wet ball, and he said, I've had no problems in my days at Mississippi throwing a wet ball, but this is a different football in the NFL. It is a different ball. They're not able to rub them down as much as what they are at the collegiate level, but Eli Manning's been in the league a long time. He's been practicing with these balls, and but it is damp and oftentimes the ball comes up from center and it gets slick that compounded by the fact that there's a lot of wax on a new football the ball slips out a lot of the same problems that we've seen from Kurt Warner in recent weeks Chris Snee the rookie on top of it for the Giants now from their own 45 on third and long penalty flag as they tried to set up a screen to Barber and what looked like a promising drive is going to end Offense, for the Giants number right 77 now. penalties declined fourth down and that really fooled no one whatsoever there were two or three guys from the Eagles out there playing that 
And you just have to wonder now a little bit about that sequence. They had gone run, run, run right down the field for about 40 yards. They go pass, 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 and go the opposite way. Clearly, the Eagles, if they've struggled with anything this season, it has been stopping the run. So Fiegels with a punt. Dexter Wynn is waiting deep, and Fiegels gets off a pretty one. It's saved by Tyree, and it will be downed at the six. David Tyree with a great athletic play to save it from going into the end zone. And the Eagles will start with it at their own six. David Tyree will make Tom Coughlin happy and Jeff Fiegels happy. Poor field position for the Eagles to start. Life is measured not so much by what you do as by what you do for others. For almost two decades, the people of Southwest Airlines have helped make the Ronald McDonald House a home away from home for seriously ill children and their families. Here's to the special spirit that brings us all together. The spirit of hope. What do you got in that thing? I got an amp, guitar, surfboard, ladder, and 12 2 by 4s Velocity meets versatility. The all-new Hemi-powered Dodge Magnum. Open it up from either end. Hey. Dodge Magnum with 5-star, the highest frontal crash test rating. You have headquarters in Seattle. Procurement in Denver. R&D in Dallas and marketing in Miami. We can design, deliver, and manage your communications for all of them across platforms across America. Consider the dots connected. SBC. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Southwest Airlines, proud sponsor of the NFL and official airline of Super Bowl 39. For the Giants at first possession running game good 56 yards passing game bad negative nine and starting from their own six Donovan McNabb having his best season airs it out deep looking at the far sideline for Pinkston and Pinkston comes down with it they're going to mark him inside the 45 at the 44 yard line and what a throw by Donovan McNabb. 50 yards to start his day. And Joe, what they do, the Eagles come out, they start Terrell Owens in the running back position in the backfield. You're going to see him right here. He's going to run up the seam. It's versus two deep. And as a result, they get the one-on-one -on -one outside. And that's Todd Pinkston going down the field. And his play has really been elevated this year with the presence of Terrell Owens. Well, you wonder if the Giants would like to get another look at that with Pinkston bobbling it along the sideline I'm not saying Chris that he didn't come down with it cleanly before he got both feet in bounds and possess it but I'd like to at least see another look at it but the Eagles were able to get upfield snap it get another playoff it's incomplete and it's second and ten well I think Will Allen would probably like another look as well because he was barbecued pretty well the last time these two teams got together he gets it secured there. Did that put get in? Yeah, probably so. It's second down and ten. And for the first time, it's Dorsey Levens. Well played by the Giants defensive line. Big Norman hand. Gain of two. Third and long now for Philadelphia. The offensive line, they've got Mayberry at guard. He's bothered by a strained calf, but they're without Artis Hicks. And Steve Shulo gets the start at left guard, the former Indianapolis Colts. And they really like what Josh Perry is doing at fullback, a former linebacker in college. Third down and eight. Blitz coming from the Giants. Eagles pick it up, and the pass is into the turf in the direction of Terrell Owens. And time for a Philly punt. 
Well, that time they brought the blitz. The Eagles had the right protection on. They get it blocked up. Donovan had time within the pocket. Terrell Owens on a crossing route, just unable to get the ball into his hands. Missed on an opportunity. And so far we've seen both quarterbacks having a little trouble throwing the football. That went right in the dirt. Mark Jones waiting for it. Fair catch. And they will mark Jones down at the nine. A 33-yard punt, no return. And the Giants get it for the second time today. Because the tricky thing about perfect right angles is the perfect part, Black & Decker created the Crossfire. It shoots horizontal and vertical lines that level automatically, so you get it right the first time. The Crossfire, from Black & Decker. What are those? Uh, they're my SpongeBob watches. Oh. They represent the many moods of Gabe. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Which one says you're an idiot wasting company time? SpongeBob watches only at BK. $1.99 each with any value meal. What gives a man ultimate shaving performance? Braun Activator's revolutionary new foil with differently shaped holes captures hair growing in any direction for a closer shave in fewer strokes. And the world's most advanced automatic cleaning center leaves it feeling like a new shaver every day. Try the new Braun Activator. It's the world's best self-cleaning shaver, guaranteed. They're quadruplets. One, two, three, four times the trouble. But our nanny will set them straight. Nanny 911, all new at 9 Fox Wednesday. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Budweiser. Grab a cold, fresh Budweiser. It's game time. The Fox Owens cam is already working overtime <laughs> following T.O. over on the sideline. He went to Andy Reid. He went to Marty Morningweg. He went to anybody that was listened talking about I had six. But he didn't go to Donovan. But he didn't go to Donovan, which is good. But he's the guy that has the ball. The rest of those guys can't throw it to him. Eli Manning hands to Tiki Barber. And Barber gets it out to the 12. We look at the defense for the Philadelphia Eagles. They come in 18th overall in the NFL. They have had a tough time stopping the run, although the past two weeks they've been better. And Chris, as you said in our open, Jeremiah Trotter is probably the biggest reason why. Yeah, we had a chance to have a conversation with him yesterday, and just you could just tell he's a middle linebacker. You know, it's almost like talking to Mike Curtis or Dick Buckus or one of those guys. He just brings an attitude that I don't think this defense had before. Second down and seven. Another chance for Tiki Barber, who lowers his head, gets it out to the 16. Picked up four, third down and short coming up for the Giants. Yeah, I think you talk about Jeremiah Trotter and what he's done. This is now his third game in the starting lineup at middle linebacker. When they put him at middle linebacker, that they they then moved Mark Semino to the weak side. But it's not a coincidence that the run defense has dramatically improved in the last two games that he's been man in the middle. And what does he say? Turn it back to your boy. I mean, he must have said that ten times to us last night. All I do is tell my teammates, turn it back to my boy. Third down and three. and hits Toomer with a first down. Guys, I'll say this. Even in a loss last week, the usual harsh media was willing to shine and smile on the debut of Eli Manning, who completes his first pass of the day right here. A good job on the outside there with Jeremy Shockey and Dave Deal, the right tackle, getting double covered. And that's what they've got to do with Javon Curse. I mean, obviously, a very explosive defensive end could get pressure on him in a hurry. They're going to try to keep him off Eli all day. Here comes a blitz from Philadelphia, and Tiki Barber runs right into it. He's brought down at the 20. Eli Manning, Chris, called that debut disappointing. But then you talk to his teammates. Strahan said, it's Eli's team. It's not my team anymore. It's Eli's team. Tiki Barber said he showed how well he can do this year 
not five years from now, but this year. And Shockey, being the smart tight end who wants the football that he is, said, "Uh huh." Said, "I would rather play with him than anyone in the league right now." Well, that's good because he doesn't have a choice. But I agree. I thought he was impressive last week for a guy with his first start. Second down and 12. More from Tiki Barber, and it's not there. Third down and long coming up for Eli Manning and out to the coast we go. Here's JB with a game break. All right, Joe Buck, thank you very much. Terry Bradshaw's newest favorite quarterback, Jake DeLome, hooking up with Kerry Colbert, 24 yards to pay dirt, capping an eight-place, 71-yard drive. Panthers looking for their third straight win. They're on top of the Bucks. 7-0 back to Joe Buck. All right, JB, so we'll see if anybody wants to jump off that they still have a chance bandwagon of the Bucks. Third down and 13. The Eagles are coming. And the penalty flag. This is going to cost Philadelphia five yards. Yeah, Derek Burgess Outside. got across the line. Defense. Left defensive man. Unabated to the quarterback. Five yard penalty. Third down. And that's what I was going to say. He was unabated to the quarterback. Typically, you're able to get back to your side of the line of scrimmage, and they will not throw the flag. But if you go too far, and then you become unabated to the quarterback, they will, in fact, throw the flag and stop the play, which is what happened there. And as a quarterback, you want those linemen to abate that defensive end, right? <laughs> it turns a third and 13 into a third and eight. Manning's going to try and run for it, and Eli Manning slides forward with a first down. Walker supplied the pressure and Eli Manning got up and got out of there. I think the thing that impressed me most last week was watching the way that Eli was able to maneuver around in the pocket and find throwing lanes. A very subtle little move there. Steps up, see nobody down the field and take off and pick up the first down. Those are the savvy little plays that we saw out of Eli last week. Great job of Eli recognizing man coverage, which allowed him to be able to pick up the yardage that he got. To Ron Dane, who's brought down in the backfield. Dane is able to get back to the line of scrimmage. And coming up is Michael Lewis, a safety who is really making a name for himself. Coming up, playing in the box and playing against the run for Philadelphia. Boy, he really has. I mean, he's come in and he's still a young player, but watching his development over the years, particularly his play this year, has just been outstanding. Very physical player, is a big hitter back there, and probably the best tandem in football at the safety position between him and. Dawkins. They'll put it up on second and ten. And Eli goes deep. Jamar Taylor. Jamar Taylor. He dropped it right in. And Taylor is down near the 11. What a throw by Eli Manning. It could not have been better. And how desperate have the Giants been for a deep play threat. They just simply haven't had one since Tim Carter was hurt. Watch Eli though. I love the elevation on this football as a receiver when that ball comes in from a high trajectory even if the defensive back in this case Lito Shepard is in position he still can't make the play. Lito Shepard is right there. What a great throw by Eli. Yeah Lito Shepard great coverage on him. Nice job of Jamar Taylor making a move getting off the line of scrimmage to create separation. Tiki Barber now on first down from the 11. He's down to the 8. I think Joe you talked a little bit earlier about Eli Manning's teammates talking about his presence and and knowing that he's going to be the man here for a number of years. I think it had almost as much to do if not more to do with the way he conducted himself in the huddle as opposed to what he did physically. I think your teammates when you see a guy on the field and being competitive and in and out of the huddle and the way he runs the football team you can learn a lot from a guy in those situations and I think that's what they gained in last week's game. Giants have been looking for somebody to step in and be that speed threat since Tim Carter went down. Penalty flags on the handoff to Barber. It looked like Philly came across early, and they did. I, one other thing that Eli Manning did, and that was the way he handled the drops. Offside, defense, number 91, half the distance to the goal. Second down. And it wasn't just how he handled it within the game, but after the fact, sticking up for his teammates and not pinning it 
on his tight end Shockey or Amani Toomer. It's something you had to do as a young quarterback. Well, it's something that every young quarterback should do, and really every quarterback, even as they become veterans, the players on the field know who's making the play. They know who's not. But when you've got a quarterback who's willing to stand up there in front of the media and take the bolts and accept the blame, that goes a long way in earning respect of your veteran teammates. Second down and three. They're going to let Eli throw it. Shockey out of his reach. Dawkins was back there for Philadelphia. That's one of the few mistakes we've seen so far out of Eli Manning, although I think he just threw it away. Brian Dawkins, number 20, is just going to be right underneath this corner route. At this point, I think maybe Eli decided, I'm just going to throw it out of bounds. And looked like he was trying to squeeze it in there tightly, but I think he just threw it away. Yeah, it looked like Jeremy Shockey was pulling up, knowing that he was not going to be able to get over the top for the touchdown, hoping that Eli would see it and try to stick it on the back shoulder. But a good job of just throwing it away and not risking the interception. Play of the drive, Manning trying to find somebody. Throws out of the reach of Taylor. And a field goal try is coming up from the Giants. So an impressive drive with that 50 yard completion to Jamar Taylor will end up in an attempt for three points. Yeah, and you look at Philadelphia defensively, they're running a four cross zone down here in the red zone. Most teams are now employing this defensive coverage. It makes it extremely difficult to find seams, especially when you're down there that close on the three yard line. And again, Eli Manning making a good decision, not trying to force anything and getting it out. 22 yarder is good from Christie. And it's the Giants on top in a game they need. All of a sudden, they're a 500 club at 5-5. Five and five. They lead three zip. Can inspiration make the simple act of driving around extraordinary? Yes. Can substance and style blend seamlessly together? Clearly. And can the car of your dreams be an affordable reality? Absolutely. The 150 mile per hour performance tested Chrysler Crossfire. Lease one for only $2.99 a month if you're a well qualified lessee. Chrysler. Inspiration comes standard. Surviving cancer is still the biggest victory of my life. And I did it with the help of three Bristol Myers Squibb medicines. Today, Bristol Myers Squibb researchers are fighting our most serious diseases. Their life saving medicines have turned many cancer patients into cancer survivors. Medicines for AIDS, heart disease, and serious mental illness reflect their commitment to research and to extending and enhancing human life. I'm living proof of that. Hope, triumph, and the miracle of medicine. Bristol Myers Squibb Company. <laughs> My brother. He may be the famous Kringle. David! But he's always had help. I could never compete. Well, now, I've got some helpers of my own. And they don't smell like reindeer. Well, he's been good. Big screen good or plasma good? Uh, big screen good. There's only one Chris Kringle. For the rest of us, there's Best Buy. It's the Fajita Grilled Stuffed Burrito from Taco Bell. Loaded with authentic carne asada steak and grilled fajita vegetables. All wrapped in a flour tortilla and grilled to go. Ooh, fajitas. For sizzling fajita taste, think outside the bun. Last week when Eli Manning completed his first touchdown pass to Shockey for six yards, Strahan, who's been the leader on this team, was on the sideline jumping around cheering, raising his arms up, and Coughlin had to turn to him and say, hey, calm down. You've got a torn pack. <laughs> We'd like you to play at some point next year. <laughs> Rod Derrick Hood on the return. And Hood is, looked like he got a face mask, and he's finally out of bounds. They're going to say he stepped out at the 30. They're guessing at this point. Now they're going to say 32. The headlinesman is going to put it at the 32, but this is going to be a foul on a face mask against the Giants. And it may be the old 15 yarder. Personal foul. Crash from the face mask. Picking team, number 41. 15 yard penalty. First down. Timeout. Frank Walker. Grab the face mask. So great field position for the Eagles, who trail by three. 
Katie was sure of her cholesterol plan. She took medication, she ate right and ran. Yet it wasn't enough to get bad cholesterol low. What's this? I'm still here in the land of no. Switch to Crestor, her doctor said. You're not to blame. All cholesterol drugs simply aren't the same. When Crestor performed in a head-to-head -head test, its lowering effect was clearly the best. Crestor's proven effective. That's well understood. Would you like to try it? Why, yes. Yes, I would. Ask your doctor about Crestor. Crestor is not for everyone, including people with liver disease, women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. Simple blood tests are needed to check for liver problems. Tell your doctor about other medications you are taking, or if you experience muscle pain or weakness, as it may be a sign of serious side effects. Since Katie switched to Crestor, her cholesterol's much less. With Crestor and diet, it's the land of success. Get your free trial today, and you just might declare, I'm a Crestor success. Now you're getting somewhere. Can inspiration replace the typical small car with something that lives a little larger? More space. More function. More sizzle. America's best small car alternative just got a little better. The Chrysler PT Cruiser. Now starting at just $13,995. Chrysler. Inspiration comes standard. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Chrysler. Inspiration comes standard. By Visa, proud sponsor of the NFL, get ready for the game. By Sharp, Sharp Aquos, suddenly there's more to see. And by new M3 Power from Gillette, feel the power of the world's best shade. One rough drive trying to throw the football and one very good one, including a 50-yard completion to Jamar Taylor and then some good decisions not trying to force it in for Eli Manning three nothing Giants starting from their own 47 the Eagles McNabb Eumannura couldn't bring him down McNabb's doing his thing and now he'll run Donovan McNabb with a first down inside the 40 to the 36 Well, coming into this game, Joe, the Giants wanted to get pressure up inside and then try to contain them out on the edges. As you said, O.C. Human Europe brings the pressure on the outside. Norman Hand has a chance as well, but one, once O.C. missed him down inside, now there's nobody there to try to contain him, which opened up running lanes for him. McNabb has turned into Fran Tarkington this year. 238 and counting left in this first quarter. Westbrook gets it for the first time. Nice move. And Brian Westbrook is down to the 32 yard line, a gain of four. The defense for the Giants been pretty good. Eighth ranked in the NFL. Their pass defense has been outstanding since they were lit up in week one at Philly by Donovan McNabb. This group missing both Michael Strahan and Keith Washington. And then they're also missing their top rookie. Jabril Wilson, who has really made a splash in the NFL, out still with nerve damage in his shoulder. So that means that Terry Cousins starts at safety. Quick throw, Pinkston. And Pinkston has a first down. Let's talk a little bit about uh, Todd Pinkston and what he has done this season. Uh, last week, over 100 yards receiving in that ball game, And I think that Troy, anytime you get star players established on a team, and certainly Brian Westbrook, Terrell Owens, Donovan McNabb, those three, the big three, sort of like you guys had with the Dallas Cowboys. But when you can do that, it begins to open up opportunities, one-on-one -on -one coverage, one-on-one -on -one opportunities for guys like L.J. Smith and Chad Lewis and Todd Pinkston. And Pinkston's taking full advantage of it. And off is to Westbrook. Boy, did he hit the hole hard. Still gone for the first down. Brought down just shy of the 11, a gain of 12. You know, and they really missed Brian Westbrook when he missed a couple of games there. He's so explosive, and he's able to get at top speed, really, in about his third step. He's also low to the ground. He's got great leverage. Rarely do you ever see him get knocked backwards. You take a look as he gets in there. He stays low. He runs in there to his offensive lineman. He's able to bounce off of him. And as all great backs have, he is able to maintain balance throughout the point of contact. Under a minute to go in this first quarter. On first down, Dorsey Levins. And he rolls forward down to the five. 
Maybe a few inches inside it, a gain of seven. Now, there's always an interesting debate about the Philadelphia Eagles. Do they throw the football too much? And inevitably, they because of their percentages, about 60, 65 percent of the times, whatever. But typically, when you see the Eagles play their best is when they get some balance going. And that's what they've done the last two weeks after the Pittsburgh Steelers loss. They've been averaging about four and a half yards to carry, and that makes them almost impossible to stop. Second down and three. It's Levins again. And Levins gets it to the four, a gain of one, and that'll do it for the first quarter. Dorsey Levins has stepped up and is carrying more of a load for the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles knocking on the door, trailing by three. Third down when we come back to start the second quarter. Giants three, Eagles nothing. NFL on Fox continues after this. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the concrete jungle. Get your hands on my tools, huh? Huh? Where you at? Huh? What you looking around for? No backup. I got you. Who your daddy? Who your dad? SBC. Going beyond the call. You're watching the NFL on Fox. How inspiring can the minivan be? Can it give you seats when you need them and space when you don't? Yes. Introducing the all-new Chrysler Town & Country, the only minivan with stow-and-go seating and storage. Chrysler. Inspiration comes standard. See your Chrysler dealer for a great deal on Chrysler Town & Country, the official minivan of the Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> My brother. He may be the famous Kringle. David! But he's always had help. I could never compete. Well, now, I've got some helpers of my own. And they don't smell like reindeer. Well, he's been good. Big screen good or plasma good? Uh, big screen good. There's only one Chris Kringle. For the rest of us, there's Best Buy. Fox tomorrow, after the switch, living in Cajun country had this mom crying. But when the prize money is revealed, the floodgates open. This is not what I expected. Trading spouses, meet your new mommy. All new at 87 Central, tomorrow on Fox. This crowd, which is filling out as we go on this terrible weather morning, getting better as we progress through the afternoon, is cheering on this Giants defense, looking at a third and two from the four. And Joe, this is an area where the Giants have really struggled here in recent weeks. Opponents have scored 11 touchdowns in 14 trips inside the red zone. Play action, McNabb rolls to his right. He'll try to get it in himself, and he does. Donovan McNabb in for a touchdown. That's his third rushing touchdown of the year. Boy, is he amazing when he gets out on that edge. You could see just off the play action that that was going to be a touchdown one way or another. But I thought L.J. Smith, who was the receiver down on the goal line, number 82, made a really smart decision, turning up and making a block once he saw Donovan trying to turn the corner and saying that's the easiest way to get in here. Heads up play by L.J. So McNabb gets it in. The Eagles are on top. Seven to three. Opening play of the second quarter. Donovan McNabb gets in. And the Eagles have their first lead. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. ding. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Daddy, who's St. Nicholas? Well, he was a Get very a special... Line stat. Give me two liters of saline. Squeeze it in. Come on, 36 Guys. French tube. Let's move it, people. Guys. The central line. Pressure's Pressure's dropping. Dropping. Guys. I'm a little busy right now. Can we do this tomorrow? Sure. This holiday season, get a DirecTV DVR with TiVo so you can watch your favorite shows when you're ready. Sign up now and get one for under $50. Call 1-800-DIRECTV today. The only thing riskier than stealing $160 million is having to pay it back. With interest. It just hurts. What we do know is we need a high-paying job. 
We're doing recon work on our anniversary. Tess. Ocean's 12, rated PG-13, starts December 10. Right now, get a meat lover's, veggie lover's, or any lover's pizza from Pizza Hut for $9.99. And you don't get some skimpy pizza. You get it the Pizza Hut way with lots of toppings. And I mean lots of toppings. Just $9.99. It's more than a game. It goes even beyond that. At the end of a seven-play, 53-yard drive that took three and a half minutes, Donovan McNabb has his 20th career rushing touchdown. And Terrell Owens is wondering why he's not been involved at this point. It's been more Pinkston, which is how it was last week in their win at home over Washington. Owens had a couple of catches, and he is knocked down shy of the 25. All Donovan McNabb has told T.O. is you can do anything you want. Just don't celebrate with a little Michael Jackson dance. That's me. Donovan gets a chance to do it here at Giant Stadium. Performance and handling like a car. All-wheel drive capability like an SUV. The totally new Ford Freestyle. One vehicle, endless possibilities. Ford, built for the road ahead. Where to? I could go for a large order of how come it looks so much bigger in the picture. Or how about an extra spicy did you bring to Aunt Acid? Not me. I'm going for a total happiness. We always get a total happiness. And? Yeah. Yes, Total Happiness just might be a Subway meatball marinara. A giant sandwich with meatballs, melted cheese, and fresh baked bread. What you got there? Uh, the little something I call Total Happiness. Well, you got Total Happiness on your shirt. Subway, eat fresh. Unstoppable. Michael Waltrip is. So is his Citizen Echo Drive. Fueled by light, it never needs a battery. It's unstoppable. Just like the people who wear it. Citizen Echo Drive watches. Unstoppable. Introducing Gillette M3 Power. Turn on Gillette's first battery-powered shaving system. Micropulses raise the hair so you shave closer. Feel the power of the world's best shave. New M3 Power from Gillette. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by the totally new Ford Freestyle. Built for the road ahead. By Citizen Watches, Citizen Echo Drive, Unstoppable. By PlayStation 2, Live in Your World, Play in Ours. And by the new Singular, Raising the Bar. John Harbaugh is regarded as one of the best special teams coordinators in the NFL, and he's got a guy, Jason Short, that's willing to do this. Job. Your sole purpose each and every Sunday is to run down about five times and break up the wedge on the kickoff return. Well, it's no surprise you're working on his neck. <laughs> Eli Manning throws and nearly has it picked off. That was Donnie Jones, a former Giant, who almost came away with it. Let's say hi on this wet day to Pam Oliver. Hey, Joe, and it can't be overstated enough how helpful Kurt Warner has been to Eli Manning. Whenever Manning comes over to the sideline, Warner is there to greet him. They discuss whatever's happening on the film. They discuss whatever's happening on the field. Eli says that Manning is, or Eli says that uh, Kurt, rather, is most helpful to him and helping him to discern some of the defenses that he's seeing out here today. Back to you. All right, Pam, thanks. Second down and 10. Tiki Barber pushes the pile forward just shy of the 30 and I don't think that surprises anybody up here or anybody that knows Kurt Warner and the type of person that he is that he is supporting the guy who just took his job. Yeah and it was a hard thing for him there's no doubt because when he came here he knew the situation that he was in he was under no illusions that eventually Eli Manning was going to be the starter here but he was just hopeful that it wouldn't come until next season. But the Giants made a decision. He's trying to make the best of it and turn it into a very positive situation. And that's what he's done for Eli Manning. Got a spread formation by the Giants. This is typically a blitz almost every time from the Eagles. Empty backfield. Eli Manning throws. Just basically threw it away as he was backpedaling with pressure 
from Darwin Walker. Well, the problem is that when you take one like that and you throw it out of bounds, it's probably a good play. The one thing Eli was telling us yesterday was that he didn't want those situations to turn into major negatives and turnovers, so he's willing to take one and throw it out of bounds. But from Jim Johnson and the Eagles' standpoint on defense, it really encourages you to bring it a whole lot more. By the way, if Jeff George can sign a contract today with the Chicago Bears. There's going to be a market for a long time for a guy like Kurt Warner if he wants to be a backup in this league. This is Westbrook from inside the 20. He gets it out to the 26, and that's where the Eagles have it. Tyree on the tackle after a 51-yard punt. How about Troy Aikman if there's a market for Jeff George? <laughs> Receiving team, number 57, 10-yard penalty, first down. So Keith Adams with a hold on that return by Westbrook. That'll cost the Eagles 10 yards. They lead it by four. What we did was the same thing American soldiers have been doing for generations. Soldiers now and soldiers then. There's the same courage, determination, and willingness to serve. What's changed is our equipment, our technology. But the spirit of a soldier, that's never changed. And that's what makes the difference. Trailers don't have anti-lock brakes, crumple zones, or airbags. That's why we designed the new Ford Super Duty with the only integrated trailer brake controller, part of our exclusive tow command system. Because what good is towing a 19,200-pound trailer? if you can't control it. This is the next Ford Super Duty. Built Ford Tough. Fox Wednesday is all new. First on that 70s show, only one thing could come between best friends, your best friend's sister. Talk to Angie today? No. Oh, yeah! Then, love life gone to the dogs? Try the buddy system. Who well, would be your wingman on a double date with the dog? And all new quintuplets. It all starts at 8, 7 Central, Fox Wednesday. Chris, I know that you've had your deal with Terrell Owens, and, and he doesn't really like us up in the booth. Or I can't say that for Troy. I don't know. The jury's out on Troy. Thank but you've you, got Joe. Your, you've got your nine-year-old son, Jack, here with you, the Meadowlands. Who's his favorite player? Terrell Owens. He has him on his fantasy team with good reason. He's looking for the cash. Donovan McNabb is going to go down back at the five. Lance Legree, Kendrick Allen, and they were there to sandwich Donovan McNabb and bring him down. Yeah, and that's the put. That's the push that they were wanting to get up inside all day long, Joe, and they've been able to do it twice now, and this time it results in the sack, and they're able to bring him to the ground. Lance Legree working outside against John Runyon. He comes around the top, but it's Allen that gets there first. A loss of five, second down and 15. Hand off, Westbrook nothing. Wow. Brought down in the backfield. What a push up front, and it's Kendrick Allen and Legree. You can say their names again. You know, every once in a while at the end of the season, Guys get an opportunity to play and due to injuries or whatever and they look like they're playing at a different speed They have fresh legs. They're not beat up the way the rest of the league is and right now Kendrick Allen and Lance Legree are down there just flying around And it's really interesting to watch because typically in the previous games It's been Norman Hand and Fred Robbins that have been the guys providing the inside push this time They're getting it from Lance Legree and Kendrick Allen Legree lines up at a defensive tackle position, and Trey Thomas can't hear. Let's start offense, number 72, half the distance to the goal, third down. So the Eagles are going backward. And it's tough, always as a battle of the field position. Now you're in a position, if you don't get a couple of yards on this play, you try and throw the football, your punter's in a really tough spot, only 12 yards deep. We so saw. Excuse me, Chris. We saw Trey Thomas, the left tackle, saying that he can't hear. I can tell you from experience, it gets very loud when you're backed up here at Giant Stadium with the fans right behind you. Third down and 17, and they run it. Good effort by Westbrook, and he does exactly that, Chris. He buys a little real estate and a little more room 
for Dirk Johnson the punter with that second effort a gain of seven. Yeah you really have to do that even though it looks like a bit of a give up play it's not you don't want to back your punter up to that white line this clearly is going to be one of those defensive struggles everybody we talked to on both sides said you know I don't care what records are or anything else when these two teams get together it is a physical battle. The punt by Johnson returnable by Jones. See? Jones is brought down at the 46, a three yard return. The defense playing well on that last series for the Giants gives New York great field position as they trail 7 3. Six different types of terrain, 40 different tracks, and a free roaming environment that lets you ride wherever you want to. ATV Off-Road Fury 3, rated E for everyone. My car is my baby. That's why I use XR5000. The secret is the advanced bipolar... <laughs> Go ahead, blaze your own trail. SBC going beyond the call. When it comes to shipping, talk is cheap, mistakes aren't. Ron's got the horsepower. They've got the planes, the technology. Truth is, I don't care how they do it. I just care that my packages get there on time. Hey, all I ask for is perfection. Other than that, I'm pretty easy. UPS delivers more packages on time than anyone. UPS, what can Brown do for you? Today's game on Fox is brought to you by UPS. What can Brown do for you? A 7-3 Philadelphia lead. The Eagles can clinch the NFC East for the fourth consecutive year. With a win here today, and Terrell Owens on the bright stage. That is a game here at Giant Stadium against a New York team has not been involved. First down and ten. A blitz coming from the Eagles. The Giants pick it up and down the middle. It's Shockey who has to slide to make the catch, and Shockey is down to the 20-yard line, and he gives it to T.O. Well, that's what happens when you bring the blitz. If you're able to pick it up, the Eagles are going to bring three guys off the strong side. They like to overload one side. The Giants anticipate it. They keep Tiki Barber in. They block it up. And as a result, you've got Jeremy Shockey running down the field. He's working there on... Looks like Seminole that he's working against there, but... They got up in there in the offense or in the defensive line and left Jeremy Shockey running down the middle wide open for 26 yards and now they toss to Barber. Started right, cut it back. Tiki Barber is down inside the 20. They'll mark him at the 17. Barber now in 2004 has one fumble in 253 touches which is such a departure from oh, yeah. what he's been doing the last couple of years. Yeah, and Brian Dawkins, I thought, brought up a great point when they were talking about the fact that he hasn't been to the Pro Bowl and voted in and all that kind of stuff. He said, you can't turn it over and get voted in. That's like a quarterback throwing interceptions. We know he's a great player, but he'd always turned it over in the past. The Eagles are coming again. Second down and seven, and Eli Manning is run over. Semino, who's now playing at the weak side linebacker spot, came through. And Manning is going to be marked all the way back at the 29-yard line, a loss of 12. Well, and regardless of protection, Joe, you never let people run up inside. Luke Pettigrew has got to turn that thing down and turn Derek Burgess loose. You can't let Semino to run through a gap and get a direct shot on your quarterback. Yeah, they've got to get the ball out. They're hot, but he would have had more time to do it if Luke Pettigrew comes down on the hard kill. This is graduate school today for Eli. They're coming again. They hand to Barber, trying to get some yards back. Barber has loftier ambitions. He's going to be brought down shy of the first down at the 14-yard line. 
A 15 yard run. And it's going to be about three and a half yards shy of first down yardage. So Christie comes on to attempt the field goal. And I always think the best thing to do is just run at it. When they come up and then back out, it just inevitably creates a hole in there. So now offensively, if you can break that interior line with all those guys standing around the line of scrimmage, a chance for some big plays. And really Tiki has been their big play guy this year. They really haven't gotten that out of the passing game. 32 yard try for Christie who hit from 22 earlier. High snap. It's down up and through and it's a 7-6 Philadelphia lead. Andy Reid and that Eagles offense back to work now up by one. delivery ladies well look who's here got your fresh beer right here what do you got I got intentional I got intentional taste mask all American brewed beers are fresh this guy's hiding something yep. illegal use of the hand truck distributing beer with less taste place it with Miller Lite more taste half the carbs you can't flag the king right Okay, we got multiple penalties on Dan intentional Miller. taste mask good call illegal use of the hand truck when you want to find her just the perfect gift, it helps to know the people who know diamonds. Zales Music Box by Lennox with the diamond heart pendant, just $99. Zales, the diamond store. new hit show is House. His body can't fight off infections. A mystery illness leaves a young man fighting for his life. No condition accounts for all these symptoms. Oh, good. Because I thought maybe he was sick. An all-new House. My treatment isn't making him better. It's killing him. At 9, 8 Central, Fox Tuesday. Jeremy Shockey with a big catch on that last drive that resulted in what was officially a 31 yard field goal by Christie. Christie kicks it off from outside the 10. It's Hood. Roderick Hood runs into a wall, keeps on going. And he slides down near the 30. They'll mark him at the 31, a 19 yard return. The first guy there was Tyree, who's been busy on special teams. Coming up after football, it's the Sports Illustrated's 2004 Sportsman of the Year. This one-hour retrospective looks back at the year's greatest sports moments, athletic achievements, and names the winner of one of sports' most prestigious awards. Sports Illustrated's 2004 Sportsman of the Year is today after football on Fox. Check your local listings for the start time in your area. Seven to six. And really the difference in the game so far has been the Eagles scoring a touchdown in the red zone and the Giants struggling in the red zone. Four wide receiver set for Philadelphia. And they hand the ball out to the 35 is Westbrook, a gain of three, and out to Los Angeles for a game break. JB. Hey, Joe, the bus was supposed to be idle today. In fact, it's rolling full steam ahead. Jerome Bettis with his 11th rushing touchdown of the season. Career high tying mark. Steelers on top of the Redskins. 10 0 in the second. Back to Joe, Troy, and Chris. Yeah, and what Bill Moss say? That was a, a full bus today, huh? After the Thanksgiving meal? Yeah. What do you say, about 10 pounds? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Second down and seven. And the handoff. Westbrook will try the outside. Nice run by Brian Westbrook. And they will mark him down right at the marker. It depends on the spot as to whether that's a first down or not. And we're going to have a measurement. That gives us a chance to talk about what happened in training camp. To T.O. came out with the tights. Uh -oh. Andy Reid said, put some shorts on over the tights. Well, eventually it turned into a bet. And Andy Reid saying, if you score 15 touchdowns this season, I'll wear the tights. 
and he's two touchdowns away. Well, and I tell you, you know, you wouldn't know just talking to Andy when he's in a suit and tie, just how chiseled he is. But he you is put him in buff. some tights, and I tell you, he's he's been doing some lip, some weightlifting. Yeah, he's uh, dressed up like Ben Franklin on the magazine cover, and dressed up like GQ on the uh, in that look. The he only good. The only problem with that is the tights that he's supposed to wear are going to be the short version. So you're going to get to see leg too. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good for all those who get a chance to see it. Well, when you're built like that, you want to, you know, show a little flesh. They gave Westbrook enough with the spot for a first down, and Dorsey Levens picks his way for a yard. Well, you say it, we show it. Andy Reid, who could tie Greasy Neal for the franchise mark with wins as coach of the Eagles, dressed up. It's Ben Franklin. He said, this is what I've got to do. Troy, yeah. you wear a cowboy hat in Dallas. <laughs> right. I put on the triangular hat for Philly. That's right. And I'm shocked that he was talked into wearing that outfit. Chuck Wiley, who was recently picked up with the injuries to Strahan and Washington, is down getting attention. So we'll take a break. Did you see this Visa National Treasure promotion? If you win, all of your 2004 Visa purchases could be free. <laughs> Too bad you didn't buy that much. Those treasures you've been hiding all year? Honey, what do you want to do about dinner? Could be treasure. Use your Visa in November and December this holiday season and you're automatically entered for a chance to win all of your 2004 Visa purchases. No purchase necessary to enter. Is that new? This old thing? And if you want to find more treasure with your Visa, use it to see National Treasure, now in theaters. Just a fair warning, this replay will make you cringe when you look at what happened to the left knee of Chuck Wiley on that play. Mm. Oh, gosh. Tell you so many times, these defensive linemen in there and so many bodies and guys falling around, and it's unfortunate. You see it week after week. Somebody, offensive lineman, falling on a defensive lineman or vice versa. And some serious injuries result. You know, I do think, though, that this offseason, there's Michael Strahan coming off an injury as well, but I do think this offseason, based on some things that have already happened this season, the competition committee will try to do some things to protect those defensive linemen they haven't done in the past. This holiday, discover the magic at Radio Shack with exclusive gifts for everyone on your list. Give someone the gift of cleaner air with our exclusive LifeWise Environizer air purifiers. Buy one, get a second of the same size for half price in three sizes starting at $99.99. Or give our exclusive LifeWise massaging bath pillow to help soothe tense muscles, only $19.99. Thoughtful gifts you'll find right in your neighborhood. Only at Radio Shack. Well, with a ton of help, Chuck Wiley is making his way off the field, so we'll just have to hope that that's not as serious an injury as it appeared on that replay, but it does not look good for Chuck Wiley. And, and while you talk about another defensive lineman going down for the Giants, what a job Tim Lewis has done directing this Giants defense. When you consider they're playing the way they're playing right now, without Washington, Strahan, Jabril Wilson, Omar Stoutmeyer, Sean Williams, and they don't miss a beat even when their stars go down. Second down and nine. He deserves a lot of credit. Pass in the direction of Terrell Owens, incomplete. And Will Allen got a shot on Owens after the incompletion. And the crowd here loves it. Anytime that something in a negative way happens to Terrell Owens, and you've got to think that Will Allen is loving it too. The first time these two teams met, Will Allen was just a shell of himself. I remember watching that game on film and I'm like, what is the matter with him? He had a bad knee. He never made an excuse. He got barbecued every way possible by Terrell Owens in that game. But you know this one means a little something more to him. Yeah, and that was a good throw to Terrell Owens. It just went right through his hands. Third down and nine. McNabb. Plenty of time over the middle. He finds Pinkston, and Todd Pinkston has an Eagles first down, and he just can't stay in bounds to go down the sideline. He gets it to the 40 and a third down conversion for Philadelphia. So much of this West Coast offense is the crossing routes that you'll see with Terrell Owens and then Todd Pinkston, but 
The Giants rush three defensive linemen. They bring Reggie Torber as a linebacker there on the rush to bring four. But Donovan McNabb with plenty of time to throw the football. And you see Will Allen passing him off there. And then the linebacker level, Carlos Emmons, just not able to pick him up when he came into his zone. And these Eagles do a great job of spacing with their receivers when they're throwing routes against zone coverages. Well, that looked like one of those mush rushes, like they were playing for him to run instead of pass, and they gave him too much time. More time for McNabb. A ton of time. Donovan's going to run, and he lost it. Ball still out, and it's picked up by Human Ura, and the Giants will take over. Well, first of all, you're going to take a look at Terrell Owens. Donovan had time. He wanted to throw the square in, but him and Todd Pinkston collide at the top of the routes. Right there, when Donovan wanted to throw it, it was cloudy, and that's why he gets off of it and starts scrambling to his left and then puts the ball on the ground. You know, just running to his left, trying to make a play. The ball squirts out like we saw it do to Eli earlier in the ball game and it's going to be one of those types of games you know the last time these two teams got together it was a Westbrook punt return in the last minute that won it it was actually the thigh of Donovan McNabb that knocked it out of his hand as he was on his move to the left and Eli Manning's going to go down the middle of the field Taylor again Jamar Taylor stays on his feet is down inside the five two big ones from Manning to Taylor in this first half Well, again, good protection in this game by both offensive lines. Eli Manning drops back, gets rid of the football, and he really throws it in a great spot, which allows Jamar Taylor to run away from the defender. You see Lito Shepard in coverage, but because of the throw, he cannot make a play on the ball. Watch Tiki Barber. Now, that's not a great block, but you have a guy that weighs just 200 pounds. He's picking up a defensive end, and on first down, they hit him for a big one. Another blitz. It's Shockey, and the ball is going to be picked off by Quentin Michael. So after a 52-yard completion from Eli Manning to Jamar Taylor, he underthrows that fade and that, in the end, jump ball for Shockey, and Michael is waiting for him. Yeah, and you see where Shockey is on the field because he was so close to the sideline, he really did not present a lot of space for Eli Manning to throw that football. And that's no excuse. As a quarterback, you've got to get that ball up and over and allow your offensive receiver to catch it over his shoulder. He throws it short, and as a result, it's intercepted. Yeah, the, he threw a ball earlier, the deep ball, that was had plenty of height on it. That time he tried to line one in there and didn't take advantage of the size differential. Shockey had a good four or five inches on Michael, and he just wasn't able to even have an opportunity to jump for it. A red zone interception last week into the arms of Brady Smith from Eli Manning when playing the Falcons, and now this one. McNabb back across the field to his tight end, L.J. Smith, good for four yards. Yeah, L.J. Smith, he's really become more of the blocking tight end within this offense. Chad Lewis, who years ago was going to Pro Bowls and catching about 60, 70 balls a season, he now has gotten back more into the mode of being the receiver and L.J. Smith, who they anticipated being more of the receiving, receiving tight end, has taken on more of the role as a blocker. Second down and six. Giants back out of the blitz. Westbrook. Ryan Westbrook is going to be brought down at the 30, and that'll be enough for a first down. Barrett Green and Carlos Emmons on the tackle, and we say hello again to Pam Oliver. Hi, Joe. While all that was going on, Chuck Wiley, the recent acquisition acquired to help along that batter defensive line, had to be helped off the field. He was in obvious pain as team trainers and doctors attended to him. All the while, Wiley with his head in his hands. Well, the Giants report Wiley has torn ligaments in his left knee. He's obviously out. All right, Pam, thanks. So the two teams trade turnovers here in the last couple of minutes. In the middle of it, a 52-yard completion to Jamar Taylor. And from their own 30, McNabb fires, and Pinkston didn't want to get the arms up. No, he didn't at all. He really he, uh, used to call that the alligator arms, but that was an alligator body on that one, and he's hearing it from the New York Giants saying, hey, if you don't have the guts to run over the middle, you should just take that uniform off. 
Will Peterson's giving it to him pretty good and justifiably so. It looked like Bankston just stopped on this route. He sees a whole bunch of red coming at him and said, I, I, I don't think so. Talked to Will Peterson yesterday, and he said that he wanted to get awfully physical with all these receivers, even Terrell Owens, when he got in his area. Second down and 10. Blitz coming from Barrett Green. McNabb sidesteps it incomplete. Terrell Owens shut out. And Donovan really doing a good job there avoiding the rush. But when Donovan gets inaccurate, it typically is when he has to hurry up and move and then set his feet. He's great on the move. You'll see him step in the pocket, set his feet, and then he just yanks it down. But he had Terrell Owens if he was able to get the ball up and give him a chance to make a play. You know, the other thing, Barrett Green really has added a new dimension. He's been in and out of the doghouse, had some injuries, but now he's back healthy again. And when he starts blitzing, this Giants defense just looks different. Missed the last three games. It's third and ten. Again, only a three-man rush, and it's Westbrook, and the Giants were waiting for it. That's big Fred Robbins. And now a penalty flag comes in in the secondary. And this may cost the Giants. Well, I don't know because the receivers are coming down the field and they're trying to block. So I don't know how they can call illegal contact when you've got a screen pass behind the line of scrimmage. Terry McCauley is going to move the meeting away from the players as the Eagles were initially saying it's against the Giants. Pass interference, offense, number 84, penalties declined, fourth down. In the end, they give it to Freddie Mitchell, and it's fourth down for Philadelphia. Yeah, and that's why, because Freddie Mitchell's going down, and these receivers, they want to start trying to engage in their block on the screen before the ball's typically thrown. You can only do it within a five-yard space. You can't do it once you get beyond that. He's blocking before the ball comes out. What a play by Fred Robbins. Yeah, it really is. You know, these defensive linemen now, when they feel the offensive linemen starting to let them go and slide out to the left, they know screen, and they're just running right underneath it. So even though Dirk Johnson punted that last one away, whistles and the play didn't happen, so... We'll have it again. The ball was spotted correctly. Please put 348 on the game clock. Thank you. So they blew that play dead, thinking the ball had been spotted incorrectly. It's marked just outside the 25, and again, the Giants, with 348 remaining and three timeouts left, should end up with very good field position, trailing by one. Jones from the 40. Gets it out to the 47. And if you look at the NFC playoff picture, the question is who isn't in the hunt, who isn't alive, who isn't <laughs> leading a division? It's who isn't alive in the <laughs> NFC. Well, virtually everybody's alive. There's no doubt about it. And so many things can happen. I mean, when you look at the AFC, things have kind of wrapped themselves up in the NFC. And I think that's one of the great things and what's exciting right now as we go towards the end of the season is that so many teams are still, in fact, alive. Three and a half to go. And again, the Giants with all three timeouts remaining. They can do anything they wish, and they start with a run. Tiki Barber is brought down in the backfield, and that's the former Giant, Dahani Jones, celebrating in a unique way. So let's talk uh, quickly about the NFC. I, even the teams that right now are leading in that wild card chase are at the top of that in the hunt pack. St. Louis has not looked very good lately right on down the line and that's why a team like Tampa Bay still got Giants. Chance. Yeah and I'll tell you what makes this game interesting is everybody thinks Philadelphia is so far and above the rest of the NFC and yet we're seeing the Giants really take it to them. Just some red uh, zone mistakes the only difference in this. One. Second down and 12 and Tiki Barber out to the 49 third down. Coming up third and eight will be faced by Eli Manning. You know, I think you look at what the Giants have done here in the first half. They've got to be pretty encouraged by the way that they've played. Their defense has played exceptionally well. Offensively, the Chris, they've done a really good job as far as moving the ball. It's like what you touched on earlier. The Eagles, they scored the touchdown when they got down in the red zone. The Giants have been un unable to do that. And then, of course, came away with no points on the interception. And this may be the biggest thing that's happened thus far in the game. Tiki Barber taking a shot to his lower leg and just barely able to get up and get off the field. They are in big trouble if he's hurt. Ron Dane, a fake toss to him. Jamar Taylor on an end around. It's not there. And Corey Simon 
is there to wrap up Darwin Walker with pressure up the field and the two defensive tackles for the Eagles made that play and that stop on third down. Well, and you watch Jeremy Shockey. He's doing as good a job as he can do. He's trying to block Darwin Walker, but he just cannot hold him out. And as a result, Jamar Taylor has to take a much wider path, and that's why he wasn't able to get much out of the play. But with two minutes remaining in this first half, this is the bigger story with Barber limping off. What's his status on coming from the Giants? Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Sprint PCS Picture Mail. It's easy for football fans to shoot, send, and share their own football moments. Hey, who's winning? <laughs> Parents, are you tired of your kids going over your family's wireless minutes? Yeah. And kids, tired of them hassling you just for talking? Totally. Well, good news. Sprint got rid of ugly overages. Now families can talk more. Share 800 anytime minutes on two lines for just $70 a month. 100 extra minutes for just $5 means no ugly overages. And each additional line is just $10 a month. Now you can save your money for the cleaners. Thank you. Sprint PCS. Now that's better. Unstoppable. Michael Waltrip is, so is his Citizen Echo Drive. Fueled by light, it never needs a battery. It's unstoppable. Just like the people who wear it. Citizen Echo Drive watches. Unstoppable. Introducing Domino's new Double Melt Pizza. Layer upon layer of flavor. With a creamy blend of cheeses and herbs between two thin crusts. Buy your medium one topping Double Melt Pizza for $9.99 and get any second medium pizza for just $5 more. Get the door. It's Domino's new Double Melt Pizza. Nice car. Thanks. It's the 500, the brand new sedan from Ford. It's the only sedan with command seating so you sit higher and see more of the road. It comes with front or available all-wheel drive for great handling in any weather. Not only is the inside plush, it says five adults, no problem. Thought it was time to step my game up, take it to the next level. Pardon me. This is the Whoa. year to experience the first ever Ford 500. This is my chauffeur. Ford, built for the road ahead. Coming up on the Visa Halftime Report, J.B. Terry, Howie, and Jimmy will have scores and highlights from around the league, and the Fox Sports ticker has up to the second scores and stats. That last drive following the interception thrown by Eli Manning, even with good field position, they didn't throw the ball. Three runs ending in that end around to Jamar Taylor. The Giants lost yardage, and now the punt by Fiegels will not be returned, and we'll see where they mark it. They're going to mark it at the 20. And we again look at Tiki Barber and wonder how bad that right leg and what part of the right leg is bothering Tiki. Watch Lito Shepard right here and see if he doesn't grab the ankle and then maybe he steps down on it in a very awkward position, sort of twisting that ankle in a weird way underneath as he was tackled from above. I don't know for sure that that's it, but that's where Tiki has been focusing his attention on that lower leg. Well, what a loss it's going to be if he can't come back in this game and even more so if he can't play the rest of this season. He's been so much a part of this offense, really the focal point of it. Hard to imagine where they'd be without him. Leading the league in yards from scrimmage as Westbrook is brought down from behind by Human Yura. He shows off his athletic ability. You know, Three timeouts left here, Chris, for the Eagles. Yeah, sorry, Joe. And, but I agree with you. Brian Westbrook, when you talk to some of the players on this Giants team, they say, you just have never seen a guy that with the ability to accelerate and go from zero to 60 the way that Brian Westbrook has done. And that last week, I thought he was just phenomenal. Second down and two. McNabb can't find anyone to throw to. Penalty flag. And Owens may get his first catch wiped away. This is in the area of a hold. It would be a seven-yard completion to Terrell Owens. But it's coming back. Holding. Offense. Number 69. 10 yard penalty, second down. And we take a look at what happened here on the penalty, and there's the hold there. Donovan had some time to throw the football. Right now, it just doesn't seem like he's entirely comfortable in the pocket. He's He's got some guys running down the field. Chad Lewis on that play was running down the middle. He had a shot at him, but. The Giants defense doing a good job of keeping Donovan confused at this stage. Second down and 12. Westbrook is swallowed up. And I think the Giants need a timeout right here. And they'll use it. They still have two left. 
So a timeout by the Giants hoping to get it back and do something before halftime. Third and forever coming up for Philly. Come on, we're going to be late. What are you doing? Getting ready. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the class of 2004. Recently, a MetLife advisor helped these parents create a financial plan so they'll be ready just in case the next 13 years go as fast as the last five. Giants offense talking about it on the sideline, hoping to get it back. A few years ago, the Giants were the envy around the league with their two young cornerbacks of Will Allen and Will Peterson. They did not get off to a good start this year. They've been bothered by injuries, especially last year, and they played well so far today. McNabb still can't find anybody to get it to, and Westbrook is going to be knocked down at the 25, and a punt's coming from Philadelphia. Deloach was there for the stop, and with a minute three remaining, the Giants spend their second time out. So McNabb having trouble finding receivers downfield, and they're about to give it back to the Giants. Sharp Aquas Liquid Crystal Television. Enhanced sound is the answer. Cut. Punt coming from Dirk Johnson with Mark Jones waiting deep. Same story. Good field position staring the Giants in the face. Good punt by Johnson. Jones takes it from just inside the 40, gets it out near the 45. They're going to mark him at the 44. We go back to that third down play and a block that L.J. Smith threw to level Curtis Deloach. Yeah, L.J. Smith is going to peel back and get Curtis Deloach, but I think it's a clip right there in the back. And really, the Eagles could have been marked back to about the 12-yard line, and the Giants really should have gotten even better field position than what they have now. Yeah, what a great job the Giants did defensively stopping the Eagles and now giving the ball back to their offense with good field position. 53 seconds left in the half and they still have one timeout. Eli Manning has to be careful though not to make a mistake like he did last week in this situation giving the ball back to Philadelphia. Looks like they'll play the rest of this first half without Tiki Barber and a huge mistake by Dave Deal. Offense number 66 five yard penalty first down. You know, Javon Kirsch really drew that penalty. He's such an intimidating guy on the outside and so fast. You get in these must-pass situations. For an offensive line, it's just a nightmare. They come up with a blitz look, and then all of a sudden, Javon Kirsch does a little flinch, and all you can do is David Deal's thing. Man, I've got to get my track shoes and get out of here. That time jumped a little early, and Tiki Barber's still on the sideline. 23rd false start penalty of the season for this Giants offense. In the pocket goes down. You see Corey Simon get out of there, and I believe it was Corey who was at the feet of Eli Manning to force that sack. And now with 39 seconds left, the Giants use their final timeout. You gotta be kidding me. Surprising. Still 7-6 Philly. You know, I think I'd marry you again. All these people as witnesses? Yeah, right. Mom? Dad? Lisa, will you marry me? Again. This Christmas, give her a piece of eternity. Second down and 22, and you could have made the case that the Eagles should have taken their first time out after the sack. Instead, it's the Giants. Only 39 seconds remain. And they hand off to Dane. Ron Dane is out across the 40 to the 43-yard line, a gain of 11, but 
Now with no timeouts remaining the Giants don't appear to be in any huge hurry to run another play. Yeah Andy you could tell he was wondering whether or not to go ahead and burn the timeout himself see if they couldn't get the ball back but he's going to go ahead and let the clock run down as well. I agree with you not real sure why New York elected to use their timeout after that last play but smart here just running it down. They hand to Dane. This gives Dane a chance to pad his stats. It's first down yardage for Dane of 13 on that run, but that'll do it for the first half. And the Giants and the Eagles will head to their dressing rooms in a 7-6 game. You know, Terrell Owens isn't heading off the field content. He has been shut out. A defensive struggle here today. With a rain-soaked field at Giant Stadium, McNabb the only touchdown of the afternoon so far. Back here after this break with the Eagles on top of the half. Fox 29 News, 10 out of 10. Recently, a group of music students used Palm One handhelds to perform an original composition live. Of course, you may just want to listen to MP3s. The Tungsten E handheld. Simply amazing. The all new Jeep Grand Cherokee. With Quadra Drive 2, our most advanced four wheel drive system ever a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 and our new electronic stability program. The off-road legend continues on road. See your Jeep dealer for a great deal on the Jeep Grand Cherokee, the official SUV of the Philadelphia Eagles. Introducing the all-new compact Mercury Mariner with intelligent four-wheel drive and V6 power. Mariner is everything you want in a compact SUV. Smartly equipped with an affordable $259 a month lease. Come see the Mercury Mariner during the Wishlist sales event at your Lincoln Mercury dealer. It's Hyundai's Thanksgiving sales event, and your Hyundai dealer is in a giving mood, giving you up to $4,000 cash back or 0% APR on select models. And thanks to Hyundai's award-winning quality, Hyundai gives you America's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. So make your pilgrimage to the Hyundai Thanksgiving sales event for up to $4,000 cash back or 0% APR now through November 30th. With Hyundai, you win. During Hyundai's Thanksgiving sales event, get up to $4,000 cash back or 0% APR. In the 2003 New York blackout, a man used the light from his Palm One handheld to navigate a 26-floor stairwell. He paused on the 8th for a game of Tetris. The Tungsten E handheld. Simply amazing. It's a 7-6 Philadelphia lead at the half here at Giant Stadium. In the first half, Terrell Owens frustrated. He has been shut out after only two catches last week. Zip so far against the Giants today. The only touchdown belongs to Donovan McNabb, and therefore the only celebration dance belongs to Donovan McNabb. Visa Halftime Show coming up after this. Visa, proud sponsor of the NFL. Get ready for the game. The winner is Kelly Clarkson. You have found that special Stubbing. You fly in Fantasia Burrito. Who's next? American Idol, Fox January. 
It's the most irresistible hour on television. Here's to the new era. No other series can come close. Look at her. All the giggling and touching. I've been a victim of it myself. Thursday nights are all about OCTV. Never underestimate a parent's ability to mortify his child. And this Thursday, it's a double date disaster. Helen. Complete with ex-girlfriends. Well, it should be great and not at all awkward. The OC is back with an all-new episode at 8, 7 Central, Fox Thursday. The server scan's not working. The receiver's old. I'll fix it. Look, someone's got to go down there. No. Send me a postcard. All right, but after this, I'm not the new guy no more. The Visa Halftime Report is brought to you by Visa, proud sponsor of the NFL. Get ready for the game. All right, for those of you watching New York and Philadelphia, the Eagles nip and tuck right now. One point lead over the Giants. Second start for rookie Eli Manning, number one draft choice in last year's draft. Going deep to rookie Jamar Taylor. Excellent throw. This led to a field goal. Giants up by three. Three to nothing. Now second quarter, McNabb. Bootleg. You bootleg, you play action left, roll right. If, every, if the coverage drops deep, you run it in. That's what McNabb did. A little dancing, 73 Eagles over the Giants. And then Manning over the middle, 26 yarder. Post route down the middle, beats the linebacker. This is the tight end, Jeremy Shockey. Gets up, imitates T.O. I don't know what that is, but it don't look good on him. Manning then looks again to Shockey this time. Quentin McKet Michael, that is, intercept in the end zone. Up seven to six. It is Eagles over the Giants. Steelers, Jerome Bettis. Baron Haynes getting that groove on, but it's Antoine Randall who has the real groove, the jive, the shot. Excuse me, please. Take it on downtown, little man. 60 yards. That's some good stuff, TB. I got some rest. <laughs> All right. I led the field goal. Steelers up three to nothing. Then Bettis out of the eye over left tackle in from four yards out. 11th yard, 11th rushing touchdown of the year. Steelers up set, uh, 13 to nothing over the skins at the half. Jay DeLome, the Louisiana rifleman, the caveman, the only guy that eats crawfish, sucks the juice out of their head. Mean-spirited guy. Fires this one out. Beautiful little throw right there, J.B. What are you laughing at? Gary Colbert out of <laughs> USC, the rookie, 24-yard touchdown, 7-0. Uh -huh. Martin Gramatica's, his kicking woes continue. Remember last year against Tampa Bay, had two blocked field goals, one blocked extra point that cost him the game. He missed that one, his second of the day. But it's greasy, shuffle pass. Michael Pittman, 7 off. Tampa Bay traveling up to play. Carolina Blue. Oh, sucks the juice out of a crawfish's head. Thing. Oh, my God. Randy Moss, only two catches in the first half, all knotted up with Jacksonville. Kansas City and San Diego. Look at this. Chargers are 4-0 since acquiring Keenan McCardell. Right now trailing by three. Steve McNair <coughs> makes all the difference in the world. Gets his first three touchdown games since week six of last season. Cincinnati, Carson Palmer, three touchdowns, two picks though in the first half. Cincinnati on top, 27-13. Cleveland yet to win on the road. Giants have now allowed a league high 45 sacks. When you assess Eli Manning, you got to keep that in mind. Yeah, he, he, at times he looks like a first-round pick. And Terry, I love the deep ball he throws. He gets a lot of well, air a lot on of it. A lot of to where he just kind of like raise it, lays it right down in the pipe, the stove pipe. The other thing is the defense for the Giants, they've given the ball to their offense three times inside the 50-yard line, only came up with six points. By the way, were you talking in the third person? You've been hanging around Deion Sanders too much. <laughs> what happened? You, you said were talking TB. in the third person. Something TB? about TB. Yeah, you said TB, yes. Tampa TB. Bay. TB, yeah. TB oh. Tampa oh, Bay. Oh, what a cop. You know what? You, you uh, know what the key is? You know, when you're playing this, when you're playing this Philly offense is. Don't allow them big plays. That frustrates them. When teams have had success, they've limited their big plays down the field. Philadelphia is second only to Pittsburgh in points scored in the first quarter. When they jump out on you early, that's a problem. Tiki Barber accounts for over 40% of this giant offense. If he's Nick, he can't go in the second half or he's limited, that's a problem. And my advice to the offensive coordinators for the Giants, when you spread Shockey out at wide receiver, trust me, everybody knows you're going to throw a fade route. Right. And it happened, and Manning should not have thrown that, but it you know was what? Over, Try it, something different. It was underthrown. I'm sure though. those. It was. I'm yeah. sure their right. offensive coordinators right. will get together and discuss that. I'm sure they care what I think. As right. Terry has they often said, and that is in that instance as well, he didn't he didn't mean to throw that interception. Second half, no, the Giants he Eagles. Do he didn't do it intentionally. <laughs> 
You're watching Fox Sports. Broadcasting in 720p, the world's finest high-definition standard with Dolby 5.1. A comedy routine that's hardly routine. The home of comedy on Fox 29. Toyota makes a tremendous effort to produce the safest possible vehicles on the road. So every vehicle you see here received five stars from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. That gives them the highest safety rating in their class. And right now, your Toyota dealer has great values on the Corolla and the Matrix, both five-star safety winners. So much safety to choose from. Toyota is bound to have something perfect for you. Katie was sure of her cholesterol plan. She took medication, she ate right and ran. Yet it wasn't enough to get bad cholesterol low. What's this? I'm still here in the land of no. Switch to Crestor, her doctor said. You're not to blame. All cholesterol drugs simply aren't the same. When Crestor performed in a head-to-head -head test, its lowering effect was clearly the best. Crestor's proven effective. That's well understood. Would you like to try it? Why, yes. Yes, I would. Ask your doctor about Crestor. Crestor is not for everyone, including people with liver disease, women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. Simple blood tests are needed to check for liver problems. Tell your doctor about other medications you are taking, or if you experience muscle pain or weakness, as they may be a sign of serious side effects. Since Katie switched to Crestor, her cholesterol's much less. With Crestor and diet, it's the land of success. Get your free trial today, and you just might declare, I'm a Crestor success. Now you're getting somewhere. Okay, open. Just slip a sable under the tree for me. It's great, right? Honey? Sometimes the best part of giving is the thank you you'll be receiving. The Unwrap at Jaguar Holiday Sales Event is on now. See your local Jaguar dealer for exceptional lease and finance offers. This holiday season there's an easier way to get the gear the pros wear. Just call 877-NFL-SHOP. For a free team catalog, go to NFL Shop on NFL.com or call 877-NFL-SHOP. a monsoon-like beginning, at least this morning, about 9, 10 o'clock. It was awful weather-wise, and now with the sun peeking through the clouds, Terrell Owens would like to peek through the defense and find a reception from Donovan McNabb. We have the latest in fantasy stats. If you want them, you can either look at this or log on to FoxSports.com. The day for Donovan McNabb, Eli Manning, with the interception, he's thrown two huge completions to Jamar Taylor. One for 50 yards, one for 52 yards. Westbrook limited. Barber 71 yards, but I guess the big question is what's his status for the second half? Leaving late in the first half, it looked like an ankle ailment. You look at the first half stats, and Chris circles the rush yards. The Giants got off to a good start, and the Eagles have been better the last couple of weeks at trying to defend the run. Yeah, but I really think that there are opportunities to run the football, whether it be Tiki Barber or Ron Dane, and they probably should stay with that so they can stay away from that Eagle Blitz. Line drive kick is taken by J.R. Reed. Reed gets his first return of the day and does not get it back to the 20. They'll mark him at the 18-yard line, and we check in with Pam Oliver. Hey, Joe, the biggest concern for the New York Giants, the health of Tiki Barber. Tom Coughlin told me that Tiki has injured his shin. He's out here. He's going to warm up, and they're going to see how much he's able to play based on how he looks. As for the Philadelphia Eagles, and they're 78 yards passing in the first half, no catches to Terrell Owens. Well, Andy Reid says, we've just got to protect better. And as far as Owens is concerned, Andy took the heat. He says, I've got to call better routes. Okay. 
He does have an individual play sheet for T.O., and I bet you he gets him one here early. This is Westbrook bouncing it to the outside, and Westbrook got uh -oh. nine, and then he's wrestled out. Yeah. And they're going to throw a flag on Will Allen. And a good call at that. Clearly out of bounds. Will Allen grabs him and slams him to the ground. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense. Number 25. Threw the runner down out of bounds. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Obviously, he gets engaged with Westbrook before going out of bounds, but clearly he knows that now he's along the sideline and no need to throw him to the ground the way that he did. He got a little help from all those officials in green and white over there on the sideline as it was the referee looking right towards that bench and Tom Coughlin can't believe it but I think he knows for sure that was a penalty. Yeah, I started to talk about it in the first half about Will Allen and Will Peterson. It looked a couple of years ago like these were going to be guys that they could stick out there and really hang their hat on defensively and you start to talk to guys around the league and they say they're OK. They're good. They're not great. They haven't progressed and Donovan McNabb is brought down from behind. O.C. Eumannura on the tackle after a gain of five. Is that fair to say about Allen and Peterson? Well, yeah, and I think that uh, there's no question that when they were drafted and brought in here that they were going to be the cornerstones of being able to do a lot of different things defensively, and I still think they're pretty good corners. Are they the, are they the type of guys that they envisioned when they drafted them here? Maybe not, but I think that the, the term shutdown corner is a much overused term in the National Football League. Deion Sanders is the only corner that I know of that was a shutdown corner. Second down and five. Hand off Westbrook. And Westbrook picked up five. Legree was the first to get there for the Giants. Westbrook a yard shy of a first down. Looks like the Eagles are coming out here in the second half and going to try and pound it a little bit. and. Boy, Brian Westbrook, you just have to wonder what would have happened in the playoffs a season ago had he not been hurt right before the playoffs started. And I know he's a guy that maybe doesn't get the national attention, but the balance he brings to this offense, to me, makes them a different football team. Third down and one. Levins gets it, and Dorsey Levins fights his way forward. It depends on the spot. Yeah, it's going to be close, Joe. It looks like he got just enough to pick up the first down, but they'll probably have to come out and measure. The Eagles, who have not been good on third down most of the season, better over the last two weeks, but these are the ones that you've got to pick up. When you get down here at this end of the field, you've got to be able to pick up the third and ones. I you think see Carlos Simmons. He got the penetration, got the hit in the backfield but was just unable to stop Levins and he was able to break that tackle and I think fall through for the first down. He will either make it by an inch and a half or be short by an inch and a half and he made it by the nose of the football Dorsey Levins who's become the bigger third down back or the short yardage back is the guy who picks it up and Westbrook now comes back into the lineup to join Levins in that huddle. Chris, to go back to Brian Westbrook and his health last year and not being there when they made that stretch run. I saw the owner, Jeff Lurie, before the game. He made that same comment as well as they're playing. Now it's a matter of winning games, but in the process of doing that, staying healthy, which is something they've not been able to do in recent years. McNabb trying to hit Levins with the umpire right there. Throw was a little low, and Levins could not make the connection. Yeah, it looked like it may have even hit the umpire on that one. I couldn't really tell. But for Carlos Simmons, he's a guy that, no question about it, has really improved this defense. He wasn't very healthy early on, but now has become much healthier, and the umpire trying to get out of the way, and I think maybe Dorsey Levins just distracted a bit. But Simmons really has made a difference, I think, over the last couple of weeks, especially with all the injuries on this Giants defense. Second down and ten. McNabb over the middle. Terrell Owens has his first catch. So good in the open field. Yards after the catch. One of the best in the league. And he is down inside the 25 
just shy of the 23 a pickup of 24 yards well you got that right Joe once you get the ball in his hands he is dangerous and he runs a very good route here he's working against Will Allen he's going to start like he's on the crossing route and then he just plants his foot and comes out once he gets Will Allen over running it the ball then is in his hands and that's when he's dangerous because he's so big and so strong he's hard to bring to the ground Norman hand injured on that last play they look at him we take a break Want to get away? Just go to Southwest.com for Southwest Airlines 39 to $149 internet specials to 59 destinations nationwide. You are now free to move about the country. If you can't remember which full-size truck has the best-in-class interior space, best-in-class standard V8 power, and the best-in-class 4x4 towing capacity, remember the Titan. And don't forget, $2,000 cash back or 1% financing at your Nissan dealer now. The full-size Nissan Titan. Unforgettable. Every morning, the first thing that we do is let fire out of its cage. We turn a few knobs, boom. The whoosh. Whoosh is a promise. It makes your mouth water. We live for the whoosh. If you live for the whoosh, stop on by. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Southwest Airlines, proud sponsor of the NFL and official airline of Super Bowl 39. Norman Hand was able to get off and jog lightly off the field. And he now gets the attention over in the bench area. It's a first down for Philadelphia, and it's Westbrook, and that's Legree. Boy, Legree has been getting up the field and getting penetration and creating big defensive plays throughout the day today, and it's not really something you typically see. Watch him get the penetration here. Just going to split between L.J. Shelton and make a big play. Lance Legree, who was a free agent pickup from Notre Dame, he's filling in as the Giants are now playing without Hand and Wiley, both injured today. Came in without Washington and Strahan. Out for the rest of the year. McNabb has to pull it back and throws low. Pass is incomplete. And that's his tight end, L.J. Smith, the intended receiver. Third and 13 now. Yeah, they tried a similar play as what they had earlier when they got the ball into Terrell Owens' hand. He runs the fake cross and then comes back out of it. They're trying to run L.J. Smith in behind it, but... Again, Donovan just not getting the ball when he has the opportunities into these guys' hands. You know, the other thing was they blitzed on the other play, so they had man coverage. That time they didn't blitz, so they had a zone, so when he arrowed out, went right into coverage. Third down and 13. McNabb is flushed. Nowhere to run. He throws, and it's... Oh, oh there we go. I'm not so sure they're not going to call him across the line of scrimmage when he threw it. I know, Chris, you're looking for a hit along the sideline, but... Yeah, I think you're right, Joe. I thought they were initially going to call William Illegal Joseph. pass, offense, number five. The quarterback was beyond the line of scrimmage when he threw the football. Five-yard penalty, loss of down, fourth down. So that tacks on five yards, brings up fourth down, and makes the field goal try. That's the way the Eagles want to go, and they will with... A very good David Akers makes it that much more difficult. Yeah, and then on the other side, you've got Terrell Owens, and they're going to try to get physical with him now. Get up on the line of scrimmage, bang on him a little bit, but I'm not so sure that that doesn't play right into Terrell Owens' game. I mean, he's a big physical guy, and, you know, he's so much bigger than the guys that are trying to guard him. You come up like that and you miss him, you're leaving yourself vulnerable to a big play. 
47 yard try this field goal is good but I'll tell you this they didn't mark the five yards off on the penalty it doesn't matter now so the line drive kick by Akers gets inside the upright and it's 10 6 Philadelphia. I've got ineligible beer on Scott replacing his fresh Bud Light with Miller Light. Replacing what? I'll take that. Thank you. Hey, man. No, I don't want this beer. Play beer! Hey! Some people will do anything to get the great taste of Bud Light. Fresh, smooth, real. It's all here. Did you get it all? If you can't remember which full-size truck has the best-in-class interior space, best-in-class standard V8 power, and the best-in-class 4x4 towing capacity, remember the Titan. And don't forget, $2,000 cash back or 1% financing at your Nissan dealer now. The full-size Nissan Titan. Unforgettable. Hey, kids, ready for your big moment? Yeah! Moms and dads with Sprint PCS Vision picture phones. It's easy to show Grandma the lovely holiday... Goose! I'm a goose! I knew that. Check it out. Sprint PCS Vision Picture Phones are easy to use. More people share unlimited pictures with them than any others. Now at Sprint stores starting at $9.99. It's easy. Say cheese. Honk! Close enough. Sprint PCS. Now that's better. 11 NFL athletes living in one house. Backyard football has never looked so good. Or maybe it's just the apparel. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Nissan and your Nissan dealer. David Akers will kick it back to the New York Giants. The Giants defense bent a little bit, did not break. And on the return from inside the five, it's Mark Jones now returning kicks. He was Whoa. under earlier, and Mark Jones is belted at the 21 a 17 yard return Ike Reese who has not only been so good on special teams this season but even when he's had a chance to play some linebacker downfield to make the stop he's one of the best in the NFL at this he brings down Jones well it's been a long day for Strahan what a lovely shot yeah who's the man hey Strahan Maybe it's your deodorant. Let's start over. No, not that one. This time, start with new Right Guard Gel. It's the strongest gel. Keeps you drier than even the leading stick, so it lasts till the end of the day. Oh, that is brilliant. Yes. Right Guard. Start right, end right. Say it with me. Say it with me. Here we go. Let's go, insurers and justice. Let's go. Grill. Let's go, insurers and justice. Let's $80. Go. Cut that meat. Sandwich. Cut that meat. Six dollars. Cut that meat. Gas. And it's full. Twenty dollars. You're my favorite accountant. Tommy, please. Johnny, please. You're on my fantasy team. You're my favorite worker. Fans. Yes. Woo! Priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Yeah, okay. Never gonna wash his hand. Right here, look at that. The Tories cabin is designed to wrap around you. This is walnut inlay. The trim is chrome. It's great. It's got 12-way adjustable seats. Get down. Could you just get down in your seat? Yeah. What? Just a little low. Diane, how are you? Dave, looks like you're doing well. Yeah, see you around. OK. The elegant, capable Touareg. Ex-girlfriend? Yeah, yeah. Come drive it. You'll get it. Fox tonight. Get ready for an incredible adventure 10,000 years in the making. You're an embarrassment to nature. Do you know that? Ray Romano, Jack Black, and Dennis Leary are Sub-Zero heroes. I actually thought you were going to eat me. I don't eat junk food. The world broadcast premiere of Ice Age at 7, 6 central tonight on Fox. It's a 10-6 Philadelphia lead, and on a quick snap count, Tiki Barber, who is back in the game, and that's great news for the Giants and their fans, gets upended 
And he lost half a yard. Jeremiah Trotter came in to make the stop, bring up second down and ten and a half. And I think watching Jeremiah Trotter go through the line of scrimmage, you see Norman Hand with a whole bunch of tape and wrap. <laughs> that's that's got to be three or four of those wraps, wouldn't you say, Troy? That's not just like one. <laughs> Took four guys to get that off. That's, uh, doing an oak tree. That really taxed the guys from the ace. As off his back foot, Manning fires and playing center field. And coming up with the interception is Dawkins. Another Eli Manning interception, and the Eagles will take over inside Giant territory at the 47. So many times, Joe, you watch a young quarterback, they get pressure in their face, and they try to make a play. And at this level, when you make bad decisions and you throw balls up in the air, more times than not, they're going to be intercepted. The guys are just too fast in this league, and you just don't get away with making poor executed throws. This one, he tries to give Imani Toomer an opportunity, but Brian Dawkins is so fast coming over the top to help out that he's able to get there before Imani and bring in the interception. Troy, the other thing in this league, you cannot make throws falling backwards off your back foot. It just makes you look nervous in the pocket. The ball floats too much. These guys are too good. Unless you're Brett Favre. I was yeah. just going to say, unless you're in Green Bay. Diving catch, and the catch is made by L.J. Smith. Inside the 30, marked down at the 27. Was good for 20 yards to the Philadelphia tight end. I was only talking about human arms. <laughs> As we watch LJ Smith, he creates so many problems within a defense. Brian Westbrook is the same type of a guy because they're athletic. You ask yourself, how are we going to cover him? They try to put Kevin Lewis on him there, and he's unable to stay with them in a nice throw and a nice reception. The last two Eli Manning passes have gone up and been interception intercepted, the latest by Dawkins. And it's Westbrook diving forward inside the 25 to the 24. Well, what great quickness you have out of Brian Westbrook as Eli Manning clearly is struggling now. And you just wonder how much that interception in the end zone where he tried to force one into Shockey, maybe a little blow to his confidence. But we have clearly seen him, Troy, struggle against the blitz. Last week, the zone blitz against the Atlanta Falcons through the interception. Now he's falling away from his throws. Just typical stuff all rookie quarterbacks have to go through. Second down and seven. Giants come on a blitz. The Eagles pick it up. McNabb has all day. Fires, and it's nearly picked off by Allen. You know, you watch this half roll that the Philadelphia Eagles like to use. The reason they use it is not because they're trying to disguise and use play action. It just solidifies the protection up front. Look at the wall that's there in front of Donovan McNabb. But Will Allen has an opportunity. He reads this route the entire way, sits on it, comes back to the ball. Todd Pinkston does not, and that should have been an interception. And Donovan McNabb stared that one down all the way. Will Allen saw it and almost had it. Another blitz on third and seven. Into the end zone for Owens, incomplete. Great coverage by Deloach. And one other point, the Eagles right now are down to Alonzo Ephraim playing guard after Mayberry limped off. So Mayberry is out, Hicks is out, and Shulo and Ephraim are playing guard. Here's the incompletion to Owens. Yeah, and here's what you do when you're an offensive coach. You say, hey, they're jumping our routes. Let's try to use a double move on them. That time, they try running the slant and go to Terrell Owens. Curtis DeLoach right there with him. Remember, that was the play they hit him for a touchdown the first game against Will Allen. This time, DeLoach didn't bite the way that Allen did. The last one good from 47. This one from 42. Akers, what a weapon to have. David Akers bangs it through to make it a seven point game. 13 to 6. Philadelphia with 8.58 left in the third quarter. You know, Volkswagens are built for the Autobahn. Oh, yeah. The jet is built to perform at higher speeds, so it's solid. Yeah, it's solid. It really holds the road. We might want to. Uh, uh, next one's fine. Yeah, so let's just. <laughs> Getting hungry? Want to find out what makes a Volkswagen a Volkswagen? Come drive it. You'll get it. 
Wendy's founder, Dave Thomas, spent a lot of time talking to customers, so he knew you had a passion for hot and spicy. And that's why Wendy's brought it back. Our wild mountain chicken sandwich with Wendy's spicy chicken filet and its fiery blend of peppers and spices, made even spicier with a hot and smoky southwestern pepper sauce and topped with Colby Jack cheese and bacon. It's the way Dave would have done it. So what are you waiting for? Wendy's. It's better here. Wendy's pickup window is open till midnight or later. I see you alone, surrounded by enemies. On Wednesday, December 8th. You can't win this war alone. Get ready to roll with this. Play, ready to die. This is the day I was born. Blade Trinity, rated R, starts Wednesday, December 8th. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Volkswagen. On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. By the United States Army, an army of one. By Wendy's Wild Mountain Chicken and Bacon Cheeseburger, it's better here. And by Miller, there's good enough and there's better than it has to be. Miller, good call. On the sideline is Jermaine Mayberry. He's been bothered by a strained left calf for a couple of weeks, and he had to come out the end of that last drive and series by the Eagles, who have put up six points in this half. Willie Ponder gets another chance, returning this kick, and Ponder finds nowhere to go. Ponder out to the 22, a return of 13 yards, and Eli Manning with his two interceptions on the day will head back to work. There's a penalty flag all the way back in the area where the Eagles kicked it. And the Giants have the decision on an offside whether they want five yards at the end of the run back or if they want Philadelphia to re-kick. They might as well make them re-kick. Offside, kicking team, number 41. Five-yard penalty, re-kick. Somebody better ask uh, Willie Ponder if he wants to return another one. He's been getting crushed. We take a look ahead next week you've got the team that's at the moment nine and one against a team that's going to play on Monday night against the St. Louis Rams regarded as maybe the hottest team in the NFC the Green Bay Packers at the Philadelphia Eagles the late game in the doubleheader next Sunday really pretty remarkable what Green Bay's been able to do playing with a great deal of confidence I mean certainly the Eagles here and what they've done up to this point this season but what Green Bay playing with just as much enthusiasm and just mu as much confidence as what the Philadelphia Eagles are. And you've got to think maybe at the end of the season, the best of the matchups in the playoffs might be the Green Bay Packers going back into Philadelphia the way they did a season ago with healthy running backs and trying to pound it against the Eagles. Well, you talk about the Eagles having to kick off again. A lot of times what happens in a situation like this, because this kickoff team has had to run 50 yards down the field, Whereas the Giants didn't have to do that. Sometimes you get the kickoff team a little bit winded. Sometimes you get big plays when they have to come back and re-kick. I bet you Jason Short's looking forward to it again, though. The wild man going down the field. They said the last time against Cleveland, he got knocked out cold, woke up, wiped a little blood off his face, started cussing, wanted to hit somebody else. <laughs> Giants down by seven. Making Philadelphia re-kick it. Ponder will start from outside the tent. And Willie Ponder stays on his feet, crosses the 35, and he's wrestled down at the 36. J.R. Reed on the tackle, and we step aside here at Giant Stadium and have a game break from James Brown. Joe Buck, I know you guys know what a great athlete Julius Peppers is. Take a look here, picking off Brian Greasy, 6'6", 285, takes it 46 yards to pay dirt. Fellas, in the first half, he ran down Michael Pittman, 68 yards to snatch him down. 14-7 Carolina. Here's something you don't see too often. The Redskins in the end zone with a touchdown. Wow. Oh. Hey, Joe, it's true. I'm sorry. <laughs> that might a little better. There's that Redskins fan. Manning rolls out to his right, and Shockey is hit on the run. I was, and now the ball comes out. The Giants back on top of it with Marcellus Rivers. Troy, I was just going to ask you. You've got all the pressure on Eli Manning he's had a game where he hasn't looked as solid as he looked against Atlanta a week ago Philadelphia's bringing one blitz after another the two interceptions how do you get him 
back on his feet, so to speak, again. Well, you do what they just did, Joe. You bring him out, you make him have safe throws, get him on the corner where he can see where the dangers are, and that's what they were able to do, and now they're ahead of the chains in second and medium. Second down and four, Tiki Barber picks up a first down for the Giants. He's into Philadelphia territory, brought down at the 48, a gain of 10. And that's the other thing that you do is you get Tiki Barber cranked up, you start running the football to take some of the pressure off of Eli as well. That time, Jeremiah Trotter right in the middle is going to overrun this play. The Giants are going to do a nice job getting the backside guard out there on him. Trotter, if he had any issues when he was a starting linebacker before, it was trying to make too many plays. He said it once he went to Washington, they trained him to slow down, play your position, don't overrun it, and that's what he's been doing and playing so much better here in Philadelphia. Pretty good job of Wayne Lucier there on the block also. On right, first down, pressure from Dawkins, and Manning has it knocked out of his hand. It's an incomplete pass, not a fumble. So it'll bring up second down and 10. Yeah, that was close, Joe, as to whether or not it was, in fact, arm going forward. Take a look at it. Was the ball going? It was close as to when it came out. Of course, if the hand goes forward and you've got empty hand, it's in a fumble. But it was going forward. A good call there by the referee in completion. And I don't know that you can say enough about what this Giants defense did on that last possession when they were on the field to turn over, and yet they were able to hold Philadelphia to only three points. Second down and ten in a seven-point game. Tiki Barber had a hand on him in the backfield. And he is wrestled down by Trotter after a gain of five. Yeah, and that's really a play call just so they don't have to face the blitz. If you drop back and you throw the football on second and long or third and long, you inevitably see the blitz. They don't want to see Eli Manning put in too many tough situations. And Tiki Barber has had success today. That is a big average on the day. Wouldn't be surprised to see him even come back with a run here. You know, so many times when you're at third and long, that's when the Eagles want to try to force the throw. They want to come up and make the tackle. Now you've got a whole arsenal of offensive plays that you can use on third and four. Eagles showing blitz. They come with a five-man rush, and Eli Manning is brought down back near midfield. Darwin Walker, Corey Simon, those two have had a big game today across the Philadelphia defensive line. Yeah, they, they rush Curse off the edge. And that's what keeps Eli from being able to continue outside on the boot. As you see, Marcellus Rivers there on the block. And typically, you would have room then as a quarterback to step up, but not when you've got Corey Simon and Darwin Walker barreling down on you. And that's why the sack was made. Awfully tough as a quarterback to turn your back on a blitz and then expect it. Uh-oh. This punt is blocked. And that was Javon Curse who got his hands in there to block it. It's recovered by Philadelphia inside the 30 is Javon Kurse. The freak is back. Hugh Douglas ends up falling on the loose ball in the market at the Giants 28. Yeah, there were so many teams that were interested in Javon Kurse, Baltimore, Washington, Seattle, Tennessee. But he told me when Philadelphia called, he knew that was it. This was exactly where he wanted to be. And he has been creating plays like that all season for this Eagles defense. Andy Reid gets so much of the credit, and deservedly so, for the job he's done as head coach with the Eagles. But whether you want to talk about their defense and Jim Johnson as their coordinator, their special teams with John Harbaugh, the job he's done, or their offense with Brad Childress, who's their coordinator, Andy Reid is blessed with very talented assistants and coordinators on this staff. On first down, McNabb. He's flushed out of the pocket, and he will slide down at the 26-yard line. And the other thing that he's got, Joe, is he's got good players. And you're right. I mean, when you look at this staff that he's been able to put together, these guys are solid people. They're very experienced, very knowledgeable about the positions that they're coaching. And then when you combine that with an organization that's done a great job of putting great players on the field, the chemistry on this football team is really pretty remarkable. You don't have to spend a lot of time around this organization to recognize why they go out and win the way that they have here over the last four to five years. It's second down for Philadelphia. The pass is to Terrell Owens. Owens has a first down. The ball comes out, but it ended up out of bounds. It'll stay with Philadelphia. Anytime 
the New York Giants have come with a blitz today. They've been forced into man coverage on the outside. As soon as Donovan McNabb sees that, he's going right to Terrell Owens. Look how far off they have to play in order to even try to match up with Terrell Owens. There's just no chance. McNabb sees that, flips it out, and now T.O. has plenty of room to run, and they're lucky to get him on the ground. Yeah, they've tried a, different, a lot of different looks against Terrell Owens today. They've rolled to him. They've come up. They've played him in press. They've been beaten when they've done that with Will Allen there on the fake cross route. That time they play soft, and the best way to play him is get someone in his face and then give him a little help over the top. 5.03 left, third quarter, penalty flag as McNabb finds his fullback Perry, and another flag comes in, so two separate fouls on the play. Could have a hold and an offensive pass interference. Terry McCauley will sort it out. There are two fouls on the play. Holding offense, number 63, that penalty's declined. Pass interference, offense, number 81, 10-yard penalty, first down. Crowd loves it even more that it's Terrell Owens guilty of the offensive pass interference. Yeah, he's lined up inside, as you'll see. He's coming off the ball, and they're in the bunch set, and does he push off? And Yep, he did. Yeah, just enough. You know, it was interesting. I thought Howie Long made a great point at halftime. He said, if you can get this offense frustrated by taking away the big plays, you can make a major impact. And I think they have T.O. a little frustrated right now. Bill Cowher, before that game against the Steelers, said that is our number one goal, to frustrate him and let him frustrate the rest of the team. On first and 20, screen play to Westbrook, blocking in front of him. And Westbrook gets it back near the original line of scrimmage plus about a yard and a half. He got 13. And that'll bring up second down as Barrett Green and Kevin Lewis, two linebackers combined to make the tackle. And take a look at Hank Fraley. He's the center right here. He's going to come out. He's not the most powerful center in the league, but he's very athletic. He gets out on the edge, and he helps lead the way there for Brian Westbrook. The Eagles do a real good job of running the screen plays when you've got a pass rush like the Giants have been putting on Donovan throughout this game a good call and make up a lot of the yards that they lost on that pass interference call. Second down and nine and they hand to Westbrook. And Brian is down to the 12. You know what, you know what's interesting is to watch how the motion allows the Giants to get off to a better snap count. I believe it was uh, Carlos Simmons that was telling us that yesterday. When they come in that short motion across the formation there, that time it was Terrell Owens, as soon as he slows down, they know they're going to snap the football at that point, and you're seeing the Giants really get a great jump off the snap count. Third down and five. Giants blitz, McNabb has time, and the pass is complete to Owens for another Philadelphia first down. Over the years, a number of people have questioned what kind of hands Terrell Owens has. I can tell you, based on that reception there, you're going to see what kind of hands he has. He's running a crossing route, again, running away from the defender, and he's able to stretch out and catch it all with his hands with a guy on top of him, Terry Cousin trying to make the play. Good execution on third down to pick up the first. You know, Troy, again, they came with the blitz. That time it was Barrett Green. Again, as soon as he sees blitz, goes right to Terrell Owens. First and goal from the five. Dorsey Levens. Dorsey Levens running hard. He's down to the one. I think one of the things that we've seen again in this game, as we've seen of Donovan McNabb throughout the season, is he's really doing a great job of spreading the ball around. And he's getting it to a lot of different guys. Of course, Terrell Owens has gotten more involved here in the second half. Todd Pinkston there in the first. Chad Lewis along with Brian Westbrook. But well, when you've got so many weapons at your disposal and you're able to call on those guys, you put the defense in a real bind. And Donovan does a great job of keeping everybody involved in the game plan. Second down and goal. The handoff, touchdown Philadelphia, Brian Westbrook. A one-yard touchdown run, and the Eagles add to their lead. 
I'll tell you, this has been a really impressive performance, not only by Brian Westbrook and the stars on this team, but now down to their sixth and seventh offensive lineman to still be able to get the push to still still be able to overpower this Giants defensive line and get their running back into the end zone very impressive now it's anchors to try and make it a 14 point game how will the Giants try and answer with Eli Manning can the Giants answer with Eli Manning? The Eagles trying to move to 10 and 1 and clinch the NFC East today. The line between form and function just became razor thin. The Motorola Razor, only from the new Singular. The new Singular, raising the bar. For the past few years, my mom has been the team mom. She likes the Nick a lot. She watches very closely what we eat. Boys, what is this? And of course, she makes sure we eat our Campbell's chunky soup, like new savory beef pot roast. About those big chunks of beef and veggies. Our team's a family, and she's the mom. Campbell's Chunky, it fills you up right. My name's Terrence. I'm what you call a loyal bud drinker, so you're probably wondering why I took a taste test. Well, the truth is, I didn't think anything would come of it until I said that Miller Genuine Draft had more flavor than bud. Now, I know you're fresh. But all beers brewed in America are fresh. This was about flavor. Yeah. Maybe you studied for the wrong test, huh? Miller, good call. Thank you very much. Some people believe there's a carpentry gene, and I think I got it. Hanging things, I'm a little hit or miss on. But with the Black & Decker bullseye, it's foolproof. I just find a stud, hang it on the wall, and it self-levels. Gives you a straight line every time. The bullseye from Black & Decker. Javon Kurse set up the last seven points, blocking a Jeff Fiegel's punt. And now it's 20 to 6, Philadelphia leading with a minute 41 left in the third quarter. And the Giants about to get it back. Ponder is waiting deep. Paul Hard gets across the 30, and he's down to the 34 yard line. How will Eli Manning and the Giants' offense respond as they trail by 14? This is titanium. Strong, long-lasting, durable. And only Remington brings it to you in the all-new titanium shaving system. Designed for closeness, comfort, and to clean itself automatically. Any way you slice it, it's extraordinary. Shave after shave. Remington titanium. It could just make all other shavers obsolete. And for her, the Remington Smooth and Silky, America's number one women's brand. Wendy's founder, Dave Thomas, knew that you liked to surprise now and then. And that's why Wendy's brought it back, our wild mountain bacon cheeseburger. Of course, it's still prepared fresh, so the beef is hot and juicy. But you'll experience a nice kick from the hot and smoky southwestern pepper sauce. We even added Colby Jack cheese and bacon. Yep, Dave loved to surprise you. And we still do today. So don't wait. Wendy's, it's better here. Wendy's pickup window is open till midnight or later. Ladies and gentlemen. Fasten your seatbelts. The adventure continues on DVD Tuesday. Well, it has not been a good day for Eli Manning. After being impressive in the second half last week against the Atlanta Falcons, it started like this with the ball slipping out of his hand. He had two very good moments, two long completions to Jamar Taylor. One set up this, the interception by Quentin Michael, trying to get it to Jeremy Shockey and then throwing off his back foot, looking for Toomer. It was Brian Dawkins 
with his second interception of the season. And this is right where the Eagles want this rookie quarterback down by 14. They came in blitzing. They will go out blitzing. Ron Dane is in the backfield. Starting from their own 34. Giants with play action. Manning with time and comes back across to Dane and throws low. You know, Joe, we're always so quick, it seems, more so now than even back when I came into the league to try to draw conclusions on quarterbacks and is this guy going to be the guy or is he not going to be the guy? And, you know, we all have to remind ourselves that this is just Eli's second start in the National Football League. And each time he gets out there and every snap, he's going to get another look, he's going to get another experience, and it's going to help him down the road. Tiki Barber on the toss, running right, crosses the 35 to the 36, third and long coming up. You know, the other part of that equation is it's not going to get any more difficult than this. We've seen a lot of veteran quarterbacks against Jim Johnson's defense and the Philadelphia Eagles look awfully bad. It's just a very difficult way to go. They had the running game going early in the first half, but now being down, you just get nothing but a steady diet of exotic looks and blitzes and this is right where Jim Johnson wants to have any quarterback, much less a rookie. Next on the schedule for young Eli, a date at Washington, one at Baltimore, and a home game against Pittsburgh. Blitz again, the ball is batted down, and it's three and out for the Giants. Donovan McNabb made his second career NFL start against Indianapolis, and Eli Manning's older brother, Peyton, was a 44-17 loss. Donovan fumbled three times through two interceptions while Peyton Manning threw three touchdowns, 235 yards in the victory. And Eli Manning is having a McNabb type day back in 1999, that second start. As the punt is hit by Fiegels, and a fair catch is called for by Lido Shepard. So Manning's frustrations continue. And we remind you this February Fox takes center stage for two of sports biggest events with the great American race the Daytona 500 and the NFL crowns a new champion in Super Bowl 39 sports greatest moments continue to unfold this February only on Fox. You know Eli Manning's having a tough day and Javon curse is making it even tougher that time lining up in the linebacker position they call it the Joker here so now you only have to find him. But now have him come right up the gut against you and knock down your pass. It's just such a weapon to have for Jim Johnson. Only 13 yards of total offense this half for the Giants. The Eagles hand to Westbrook. A helmet is popped off, and Westbrook is out to the 21. He got four. And Chris, I think you go back, you know, you talk about Javon Curse and some of the things that this organization did in the offseason. You know, they're to be applauded for. They needed a big time wide receiver. They go out and they get Terrell Owens. They needed another pass rusher. They go out and they sign Javon Curse. They go out and they sign some of the current guys they've got to extended deals like Lito Shepard, like Sheldon Brown. And they just have continually made good moves. Joe Banner, along with Andy Reid, and comp continuing to compile great players on this team. And they've been awfully impressive throughout the last several seasons. As an organization, they also know when it's time to say goodbye to some of the favorite players, not get locked into long-term deals. The Eagles rolling back after this from your local Fox station. You're watching the NFL on Fox. Hey, hey, hey. Tickets to the national premiere event next good day. So what do they mean when they talk about the smart money? In my opinion, it's how you spend it. Right now, if you buy a 2005 Cadillac, you can lock in an incredibly low interest rate, even as low as 0%. And here's the best part. When you buy your next Cadillac, you will get that same great low rate. Even if interest rates go through the roof, you will be protected. If you ask me, that's the smart money. provides vibrant colors for more beautiful pictures. Digital revolutionized photography. We revolutionized digital. The Canon Connected Score Rebate. See your authorized Canon dealer or Canon website for details. Life is full of milestones. That's why Sovereign Bank offers milestone banking. 
so you can grow, achieve, and thrive. Sovereign Bank. We begin the fourth quarter here at Giant Stadium. The Eagles with the football and the 14-point lead. Pass is complete. That's the tight end, L.J. Smith. And he rolls forward for six. Barrett Green on the stop. And that will bring up third down. Third and very short. You know, on the other hand, you look at what, what's happened to the Giants here today. I mean, Offensively, they came out and they were moving the football very well there in the first half. Chris, it's just been a bunch of mistakes, whether it's the interceptions that Eli has thrown or the block punt. But, you know, it's their own mistakes that have really allowed Philadelphia to jump on them the way that they have. Giants defense needs a stop, and they throw on third and inches. And it's the fullback, Perry. And a penalty flag comes in after that hit on the sideline. Brent Alexander was over there for the Giants. Illegal block in the back. Offense. Number 89. 10-yard penalty. First down. They already got what they call the line to gain, so they get the first down, but it will just cost the Eagles at this point. There's the block by Chad Lewis. 10 yards, and right now the yardage doesn't matter as much as getting the first down to Philadelphia. That's exactly right. And how about Josh Perry, the former linebacker who had been cut by the Philadelphia Eagles time after time after time and he kept coming back they switch him over to fullback and then the injury to John Ritchie happened after he'd already been cut again they bring him back again and they have just been delighted with the way that he is beginning to take to that role Westbrook to his right and Brian gets two Barrett Green, who is activated again today after missing three with a torn meniscus in his left knee. He's been busy, and he was there for the Giants. Hey, is it possible to feel the way I feel about this Giants defense? I've been pretty impressed oh, with the absolutely. way they played. And I know they're trailing by 14 points, but the offense has put them in some tight spots. No question, Joe. And not only in this game, but in, over the last three to four ball games. I mean, they've had a number of guys that have been injured that have had to leave and not be on the field. And yet Tim Lewis and his staff continually put a group out there that plays well. Westbrook well, out of the backfield. And Westbrook crossed the 35. They'll mark him at the 37. He got three. You know, Dorsey Levens has just made a conversion in his game. Remember him in Green Bay? Here's a guy that was, you know, the star tailback and running up all the yards. Now he's having to play fullback. Watch him leading on this play coming out, right? Coming right at you in this block. I mean, that is a great block on a big linebacker, Barrett Green. He is a guy now that can pretty much do it all. What a great play. Third down and five. It brings up an interesting point about Andy Reid. See if we have a chance to get to it. We will as Mitchell makes the catch for the first on. down. And he puts on his belt. The people's champ, ladies and gentlemen, Freddie Mitchell. Fred X, he has one catch for nine yards. <laughs> That's all he needs, though, because all he has to do is put the belt on once. The people's champ. If you need a fix, call fourth and 26. There you go. <laughs> well, I know it's been a little bit frustrating for him. He came in as a first-round pick out of UCLA. A lot was expected of him, but yet he's never been able to become <laughs> a starter in this offense. But he is a good third-down back, or excuse me, good third-down wide receiver, and plus he's entertaining. All you UCLA guys are just alike. <laughs> Westbrook strings it out. He gets it to midfield. That, by the way, was Mitchell's 12th catch of the year. That being said, you've got a guy like Levins, Chris. You talk about throwing that block, a former star tailback, or at least the feature back. You've got Jeremiah Trotter, who worked his way back into the middle linebacker spot because he was willing to play special teams and do whatever it took to help this team. And that kind of effort, a guy being able to swallow his pride, who got into it with Andy Reid the first time on his way out the door, I think speaks volumes to the kind of tone that Reed sets as head coach. Hugh Douglas, another guy that went away, big free agency, came back and has fit back into the team. Pass to Owens. He came back to grab it. That was pretty. Owens back to make the catch, working on Will Peterson. And for good measure, Owens 
stokes up the crowd. Oh. <laughs> Barrett Green came by him and just basically gave him a little nudge, and then Terrell Owens took a flop <laughs> trying to draw the flag. Oh, my goodness, is that funny. Well, Will, Will Peterson is locked up with him, and Donovan just puts it on the back shoulder, never allows Will Peterson to get turned around to try to make the play, and there's Barrett Green coming up to him here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he almost killed me. Oh. <laughs> 21 yard completion to Terrell Owens. And that's going to be five yards. There was movement all over the place. They're letting the play go. McNabb fires, and the pass is caught by Perry. Both backs were moving around as the play clock. Illegal shift. Offense. Running backs moving prior to the snap. Did not reset for a full second prior to the snap. Five yard penalty. First down. So it'll be five yards on the Eagles, and McNabb had to snap it with a play clock winding down. Yeah, and they're supposed to shut that play down when it's on the offense like that. They failed to, but yeah, you're right, Joe. There's about six guys that were moving around before the snap of that ball. You know, it's so interesting, I think, watching the improvement and what we've seen out of Donovan McNabb. You go back the last 20 games after he came off that thumb injury and the leg injury a season ago. Since then, he has thrown 36 touchdown passes, 13 interceptions, and has an 18 and 2 record as a starter. Not bad. First and 15. Screen pass. Whoa. Westbrook got some great blocks. And Brian Westbrook still on his feet. Sniffing the end zone, and he is in. A penalty flag comes in. At the end of the run by Westbrook, it looked like there was a face mask in there. There have just been some devastating blocks thrown Personal by the foul. Philadelphia Eagles. Rescue the face mask. Defense, number 24. The touchdown counts. 15-yard penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. Whether you're talking about special teams or offensive linemen pulling out, watch some of the blocks on this screen. There's Honey Buns taking one out. They're coming back, making good plays not to get blocks on the end of it. And then Brian Westbrook, the last two weeks, Troy, I think he's run as hard and as determined as any back I've seen in this league. So Westbrook gets in a 34-yard catch and run. And with under 10 minutes to play in this game, Akers knocks through the extra point. And the Eagles are doing it again. Week after week, they'll let a team hang around. When that team doesn't take advantage of opportunities, the Eagles blow them out. They did it to the Redskins last week, and they're doing it to the Giants today. What's happening? Dad's giving Mom the present that he got at Kay. This holiday, how will you give her as much joy as she has given you? <laughs> Mom likes it. A three-stone diamond necklace from K Jewelers would be a great start. Wow, she really likes it. And you can be assured of two things. Every diamond is hand-selected to match beautifully, and she'll absolutely love it. I think they're going to kiss now. I think you're right. Every kiss begins with K. <laughs> In the boys. Looks like you fellas are having some kind of party. No, no, no sir. No, no party at all. See, we've had reports of referees. Taking people's Bud Light and replacing it with Miller Lite? Oh, well, that's, that's so awful. wrong. That's that's absolutely yeah, it's bad. Listen, wrong. guys, I'm going to need to see a receipt for that Bud Light. Jerry, you got that oh, receipt? Yeah, a receipt. Yeah, I got it right. Run! Some people will do anything to get the great taste of Bud Light. Fresh, smooth, real. It's all here. We got zebras on the run requesting backup. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Hummer. Check out the H2. Hummer, like nothing else. By Dockers, shirts and pants that do it all. By State Farm, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Bud Light. Fresh, smooth, real. It's all here. From across the river, it really is a pleasant day now. As we play here in the Meadowlands. East Rutherford as Akers gets a 15-yard oh. head start and booms it through the back of the end zone. And by the way, in case you're looking for a relief pitcher, Eli Manning will come back onto the field for the Giants. No Kurt Warner. This is Eli's chance to learn. This has been the Eagles' chance to shine and Westbrook's chance to shine in the second half for Philadelphia.
Hey, who's winning? <laughs> Parents, are you tired of your kids going over your family's wireless minutes? Yes. And kids, tired of them hassling you just for talking? Totally. Well, good news. Sprint got rid of ugly overages. Now families can talk more. Share 800 Anytime Minutes on two lines for just $70 a month. 100 extra minutes for just $5 means no ugly overages. And each additional line is just $10 a month. Now you can save your money for the cleaners. Thank you. Sprint PCS. Now that's better. Hey, I can't believe you're cooked. Yeah. That's so nice of you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dockers Pro Style. Shirts and pants that do it all. Oh, man, there's a line. Dockers Pro Style. Shirts and pants that do it all. <laughs> It's the fajita grilled stuffed burrito from Taco Bell. Loaded with authentic carne asada steak and grilled fajita vegetables. All wrapped in a flour tortilla and grilled to go. Ooh, fajitas. For sizzling fajita taste, think outside the bun. It has been a dominant second half by the Philadelphia Eagles who are on their way to a 10-1 record. They clinched the NFC East with a victory today. Eli Manning struggles to get it out into the arms of Tiki Barber. And Barber ends up losing two. Let's go down to Pam Oliver. Hey, Joe, Tom Coughlin insists that Eli Manning is not one to go in the tank if things don't go well for him. He did face a smattering of boos after that last Giants three and out. And I asked the coach at halftime is he, if he was satisfied with what Eli was seeing and how he was responding to what he was seeing defensively. He said that he was. But it seems that Philadelphia has really been determined to pick up that pressure in the second half. And Eli hasn't responded all that well to it, Joe. All right, thanks, Pam. Out of the back. Field. It's Tiki Barber. Nice move. Barber, Barber gets it out to the 27. He'll be three yards shy of the first down. Well, it just shows you that people aren't real patient when it comes to young quarterbacks getting booed already in just his second game. But it's very hard. And as he gets more and more accustomed to the pressures that he's going to face, the blitzes that are going to be coming after him, the game will begin to slow down. And right now, he's still an anxious quarterback, an anxious young quarterback. And until he gets over that process, there are going to be some struggles, as we've seen. But it's still way too early to start expecting much out of Eli Manning. Jeremiah Trotter trying to time it perfectly. That'll give the Giants a first down. Defense, number 54, five-yard penalty, first down. I think one of the good things that we have seen today from the positive standpoint is the fact that they've been able to create some big plays. We saw the two deep balls to Jamar Taylor along with getting Jeremy Shockey down the field, something we've not seen much of from the Giants this season. So there is progress being made, maybe not at the rate that a lot of people would like to see, but all of these things take due time. Under eight and a half to go in this fourth quarter. A toss to Tiki Barber, started right, cut it back. Big run, Tiki Barber is down into Philadelphia territory to the 46. 22-yard run by Tiki Barber, who's doing it again. Joe, that's the old Marcus Allen play from the Super Bowl. They toss it one way, and you think you're going to see all the pursuit take off this way, and he's just going to turn and zip it right back through the hole that way. It's a design play. It's something to take advantage of all the pursuit that the Eagles have been known for over the years. And Tiki Barber looks like at least his leg is doing better. That is the eighth time this season the Barber has gone over 100 yards on the ground. He's at 108. Blitz coming from the Eagles. The Giants pick it up, and Manning fires. Penalty flag as the pass intended for Toomer drops untouched. The flag down on the play. Illegal contact. Defense. Number 32. Five yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Well, they had one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Sheldon Brown trying to get a Monty Toomer. Eli just didn't lead him up the field enough, but the call's on the inside on Jeremy Shockey. Michael Lewis grabbing him there, and 
I can tell you that as Eli gets a little bit more experience and he sees one on one matchups with a safety on Jeremy get the ball in his hands running away that would have been a big game as well. So the automatic first down Toomer has one catch today Hilliard does not have a catch today Manning being chased he can outrun Hollis Thomas and then Manning gets a hit along the sideline and that'll draw a flag. Uh -oh, Jeremiah Trotter going now. Yeah, that was uncalled for. And then Trotter kind of stomping around. I couldn't tell if his leg was caught on a court or not, but Barrett Green didn't like it one little bit. No, and he shouldn't. I mean, when he, when Jeremiah Trotter taking a shot at your franchise quarterback, you would expect that kind of reaction from your teammates on the sidelines. It drew the flag. There's just no point in it. I mean, Eli Manning clearly is going out of bounds. Whether or not he was actually out of bounds or not, that's just not a hit that you have to put on a quarterback. Jeremiah Trotter put a hit on the punter from the Giants. Jeff Fiegel's in week one. That hit. Now, what did uh, Brian Dawkins tell us? He said, when you punt the ball, you're a punter. When you run down the field, you're a football player. You better be alive. But I think after looking at what happened along the sideline after that hit, first it was Jim Finn that got in the face of Jeremiah Trotter, who was all by himself. There over are two there. fouls after the play. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense, hit out of bounds. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 52, offense, after the play, number 52 is disqualified. So Barrett Green has been kicked out of the game. Finn was the first to get Trotter over on the sideline after this hit from Jeremiah Trotter. Then Trotter has to slide deeper into the bench area. Finn got him. Barrett Green comes up and gives him that right hand up under the chin. And with that, Barrett Green is finished for the rest of the day. You know, I know it's going to cost them a little bit of a paycheck and a fine and all that, but I don't mind seeing that, Troy. I really don't. You've got a young quarterback, and you've got a guy out there that is at least going to go defend his guy on his bench, and I, it, I don't know how to explain the National Football League, but that's a little part of it. Well, uh, no question. I mean, that's what you expect to see from your teammates. At the same time, it's understandable what the officials are trying to do. They don't want retaliation taking place on the sidelines or on the field and it should never have taken place in the first place with Jeremiah Trotter making the hit. It's the wrong week to start getting into fights along the sideline as that pass was nearly picked off. A good job by Toomer to avoid the interception on the part of Sheldon Brown. Let's take a game break and say hi again to James Brown. Hey, Joe Buck, take a look at Brian Greasy and the Buccaneers trying desperately to stay in this one. Hooking up with Michael Pittman, eight yards pay dirt. Pittman's got over 100 yards receiving today. Bucks looking for their fifth win in the last seven, more importantly, to stay in the playoff hunt. All knotted at 14, 637 left in regulation. Back to Joe Buck. Well, Brian Greasy's been a revelation for the Buccaneers. And that playoff hunt is very real with the Giants losing today. If the Rams lose on Monday night, five and six would be the last playoff spot right now. Third and seven over the middle. It's Toomer, and it's too high for Amani Toomer. Fourth down. And just to point out the difference in the approach by two organizations, we were in Dallas on Thursday night on Thanksgiving. We saw Drew Henson get yanked after a half. With a team that at the time was three and seven, they go back to Vinny Testaverde, who'd been bothered by a sore shoulder. They end up winning the game. Now they're four and seven. You've got the Giants playing this game five and five. They were five and four when Manning took over, and they're going to go with Eli Manning the rest of the year. Barring injury, according to Tom Coughlin, Kurt Warner is finished as quarterback of the Giants. Manning fires. He's got a receiver, and Taylor can't haul it in. The pass was behind him, and the Eagles will take over on downs. And what that tells me, Joe, is that here in New York, they know that Eli Manning's the quarterback Rex. of the future. In Dallas, they don't know that Drew Henson is. So going forward on fourth down, the incompletion, and the Eagle offense is back on the field. Hey, I'm Jared. Do you know that McDonald's commercial that says, stay away from my chicken selects? Well, actually, that's good advice. 
because a five-piece chicken selects has 33 grams of fat. 33. You want chicken? Try a six-inch sweet onion chicken teriyaki sub at Subway restaurants. It has five grams of fat. 33 grams of fat? I'm definitely staying away. Subway, eat fresh. Today's sponsor, Verizon Wireless, is offering camera phones for only $49.99. But the deal ends November 28th. the holiday kickoff sales event. March into a Verizon wireless store to get a Motorola camera phone with mobile web and speaker phone for only $49.99. But you gotta hurry. The holiday kickoff sales event ends November 28th. Good. Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. She had her license for 45 minutes. <gasps> and two accidents in less than 10 seconds. <laughs> ah! I'm State Farm Agent Kevin Weber, and this is a true story. Yeah, I was scared. I didn't want to call my parents. I called her parents. He really treated her like she was his own daughter. I handled her claim and gave her a few pointers. A lot of pointers. <laughs> a lot of pointers. <laughs> Any insurance company can promise you a good price, but nobody takes care of you like State Farm. We'd love to prove it to you. Call an agent today like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Favre and the Packers. McNabb and the Eagles. It's a Fox NFL Sunday doubleheader next week, presented in HD. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Cadillac and the all-new STS. Breakthrough. Philadelphia Eagles have the ball. They seem to have this game well in hand. 27-6 over the Giants. John Huffnagel's in the middle of that meeting over on the sideline. Manning is not part of that group as Dorsey Levins gets it running right and he lost a yard. Hey Joe, I, I've just got to say that I know Imani Toomer has had the hamstring problem. We did a game earlier against Minnesota. He really didn't know if he was going to be able to play or not. But since then, you just haven't seen the kind of production out of him that we're used to. I, I just wonder if that hamstring is anywhere close to being back at 100 percent we're seeing a lot of the DBs squatting on him now not respecting him deep the way that they once did and he really has always been a very good deep threat. Yeah I think it's a little bit of a uh, combination of some things whether it's a hamstring and not being fully back from that or the change in quarterbacks I mean, any number of things could lead to some of the lack of production that he's been going through. Second down and 11 it's Dorsey Levins up to the 44 yard line third down coming up after a gain of seven. Kevin Lewis in the middle of it for the Giants. I'll tell you the other thing I've really been impressed with today from Philadelphia has just been the physical nature of their play. We talked to Brian Dawkins and he said, you know, Pittsburgh just took us out behind the woodshed and just beat on us. And it sort of changed our attitude about defense and they made some changes. Sam Rayburn become a much bigger part of the defense. Jeremiah Trotter coming in at the middle linebacker position and we're seeing a much more physical defense than what we saw in that game. It's third down and four. Eagles trying to hang on to the football. Convert on third down and they don't. Will Allen up to make the stop after the completion to L.J. Smith. And it's fourth down. So 5.26 remaining. And while the Eagles are in the process of punting the ball, Brad Childress Troy is a name that keeps coming up as a potential head coach candidate around the league. He's the offensive coordinator for Andy Reid. Yeah, it's that time of year when people start speculating as to who may or may not be candidates for head coaching jobs around the league. And I really feel like he should be considered. In fact, I think he should be getting one of those jobs that will inevitably come available at the end of this season. Dirk Johnson gets off a good one over the head of Jones and it checks up inside the five. And it's a touchback. Took a nice Dirk Johnson Philadelphia bounce. There's a penalty flag down a penalty flag down back near the 50 yard line. As Dahani Jones could not keep it out of the end zone. It's a touchback at the moment. An ineligible man downfield is the call against Philadelphia on the punt. Ineligible receiver downfield. On the kick, kicking team, number 55, penalties decline, first down. So first down for the Giants. 
The ball at the New York 20. Eli Manning in the middle of that huddle, and T.O. is all smiles now. the new 320 horsepower V8 Cadillac STS. Let's dance. Breakthrough. Fox tomorrow after the switch, living in Cajun country had this mom crying. But when the prize money is revealed, the floodgates open. This is not what I expected. Trading spouses meet your new mommy. All new at 8, 7 Central tomorrow on Fox. Tuesday's new hit show is House. His body can't fight off infections. A mystery illness leaves a young man fighting for his life. I just want to know who tried to kill the kid. House solves medical mysteries like Sherlock Holmes with a stethoscope. No condition accounts for all these symptoms. Oh, good. Because I thought maybe he was sick. This is one house call worth making. It's a 10 million to one shot. Thought this would be dealt with here. All new house at 9, 8 Central, Fox Tuesday. 27 to 6, Philadelphia on top. They wrap up the division with a win today here at Giant Stadium. We'll look at Jim Johnson, the architect of this blitzing defense. Terrell Owens is now having fun after being shut out in the first half. And it's Deal again. That's twice in this game that David Ball Deal start. has done that. Offense, number 66. Five-yard penalty, first down. Mr. Coughlin doesn't like that. First and 15. The Eagles starting to have a little fun, and I think in particular this defense should be having some fun. They are not giving up a touchdown thus far in this game. They didn't give up a touchdown last week, and that game would mark the first time since 1990 that they haven't given up a touchdown in two straight games if they can shut them out the rest of the way here. On first and 15, they hand to Tiki Barber. He gets two. Eli Manning knew when he woke up this morning it would be a day under pressure with this Philadelphia defense staring at him. And let's just say the Philadelphia defense did not disappoint. They came after Eli Manning play after play after play. And Manning, after having an impressive second half in his debut last week against the Falcons, had a rough day. Yeah, there's been a lot of veteran quarterbacks that have had tough days against Jim Johnson and this Eagles defense over the years. Second down and 13, Manning just throws it away. Inside the pocket, got it beyond the line of scrimmage, no grounding. Tonight on Fox, get ready for an incredible adventure, 10,000 years in the making. It's the world broadcast premiere event, Ice Age, followed by special episodes of The Simpsons and King of the Hill. It all starts tonight, 7 Eastern, 6 Central, right here on Fox. By the way, happy birthday to Mike Steve Pack, who operates our Fox box and operates us around every city we visit during yeah. the course of the year. He yeah. is an MVP of our group, so happy birthday, Mike Steve Peck. Bugman's birthday, and he also doubles his officer pack on Thanksgiving. <laughs> and Bill Kempner watching, a big Giants fan, father of our director, Artie Kempner. Happy birthday, Bill. And with 404 remaining, it's fourth down, and the Giants are just going to punt, get rid of the football, and let the Eagles just sit on it. 27 to 6, Philly on top. You know, there really are some interesting games. Look at that. The Bengals up on Cleveland, 50 to 48. 
but there are so many teams now that if Tampa Bay were to win today and knock off Carolina, all of a sudden they're in the playoff. And I mean, this thing is absolutely insane at this point in the season. I can't remember another season that has been like this. Lito Shepard, a fair catch at their own 36. The Eagles have it. 355 left. For the first time, the Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison collection at the lowest price ever. You want a piece of me? I want the whole thing. Loaded with outrageous new bonus materials. Buy the collection on DVD Tuesday. This is what Andy Reid is about to officially accomplish. For the Eagles, their head coach is all time. He will tie Greasy Neal with his 66th career victory as he works here in his sixth year. Dorsey Levens again. Nice run by Levens. Has a first down. Still going. Terry Cousin on the stop as Levens gets it into Giants territory. You know, it's interesting as we take a look at Andy Reid. And remember coming into the season and everybody was talking about what Bill Parcells had done last year in Dallas and how good were they going to be this year. Of course, then Joe Gibbs going to Washington and Tom Coughlin coming here to the Giants and the forgotten guy in all of that was was Andy Reid the one who had won three consecutive consecutive NFC East championships at that time and now today clinching his fourth and just done a remarkable job with this organization and even when you talk about all that he's done I don't think people fully recognize or appreciate the job that he's done for this Philadelphia team. Boy Denver gets a chance to run the offense as he hands off to Thomas to pay. And we look back at Andy Reid in college at BYU, a tackle and guard, 79 through 81. And we follow him through, a BYU graduate assistant, 1982. And I would guess, guys, that he really made his name and learned the most with his time in Green Bay and working with Brett Favre. And it was from Green Bay that he got this job. Yeah, and I still think it's pretty remarkable for an offensive lineman. And granted, it was at BYU where they predominantly throw the football. But for an offensive lineman to be so committed to passing like Andy Reid is. Second down and six as Detmer hands to Tupay again. And Thomas is down inside the 42, a gain of two. Terrell Owens is working whatever is left of the fan base of the New York Giants. He really has become the lightning rod for the league right now. But a lot of those Eagle fans have a lot better tickets now than what they started the day with. By the way, we saw those coaching shorts on Andy Reid. We may see those tights on Andy <laughs> Reid before the end of the year. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by SBC. Going beyond the call. I want Spider-Man! Catch the number one action movie of the year on the ultimate two-disc special edition DVD. There are bigger things happening here than me and you. Hang on! Spin two action-packed discs loaded with over 10 hours of all-new content. Go get him, Tiger. Spider-Man 2 on DVD Tuesday. Not in our house, buddy. Not today. Oh, no! This ain't going down! Not today, not in our house! Not in our house! Not today. Not tomorrow. Nobody coming in here! Not in our house! Not in our house! Not in our house! Visa, official card of the NFL and the house of the Super Bowl champion New England Patriots, where they accept no other card to get you in. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Ha! Try being Chris Kringle's little brother. <laughs> Man, you never win. Even now, I'm not good at this holiday stuff. But with BestBuy.com, it's easy for us regular guys to pull off holiday miracles, too. Uh, it's for me. I'll get it. I thought their stores were big, but, oh, man, they have even more great stuff online. There's only one Kris Kringle. For the rest of us, there's Best Buy. Jeff and Christina Lurie watching from high above here at Giant Stadium, and the Eagles and this traveling party will... 
travel back to Philadelphia with a record of 10 and 1 and they are the toast of the NFC. And let's say this that this is one of the most dominant teams the NFC has ever seen. They have played eight conference games so far this season and they have won every one by at least 10. That's pretty remarkable. Topay stays on his feet, stays in bounds, and picks up a Philadelphia first down. And how about Jeff Lurie? He bought the team in 1995, and with this win here today, seven playoff appearances in the last 10 years as owner of the Philadelphia Eagles. That's a remarkable accomplishment in an NFL where every year we see a team go from first to worst and worst to first. The Eagles have been the model of consistency, now making their fifth consecutive playoff appearance. No one else in the league's done that. Well, but you think back to this offseason and to pick up the two best free agents that were out there on a team that was already dominant in that division, in that conference, uh, it just lived up to its billing. We talked about Andy Reid and the love. coach's shorts. Too sexy for my love, love's going. To <laughs> what? <laughs> and the bet. <laughs> Terrell Owens with two more touchdowns will force Andy Reid to make good on his bet. And Andy will don the cat suit, the tights, but it'll be the shorts version. I still can't get over how yoked Andy is. He looks fantastic. I mean, he looks absolutely fantastic. There. If he looked that good in tights, he'd be wearing them every day. <laughs> That's really going to be one of the few moments that during the regular season this Eagles team will have it in front of it. That and home field advantage. And that's what's left that wrapped up their division today. They're looking for home field advantage. And they're pointed right back to a fourth trip, fourth consecutive NFC Championship game. And it's probably a good thing that Atlanta is right on their heels because now that's what they do have to still play for, Joe, is home field advantage. They can't get complacent. The real key, because I believe this team's going to continue to play well, the key is that they're going into the playoffs healthy, because right now they're as healthy a team entering, or at least the second, the uh, going into December as they've been in a long, long time. Well, plus the balance on the defensive side now. The one issue they had was stopping the run. It looks like they've shored that up a little bit. I'll tell you what, it'd be... It's going to take a heck of an effort to knock off the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC this year. And defensively, they made a heck of an effort today, and they overwhelmed young Eli Manning in this Giants offense. And even with all that, go ahead and say it, Chris, the New York Giants are not dead in the <laughs> NFC. If the Rams get beat on Monday night, they are still tied for that last playoff spot. They have now lost four straight, five of six. They're five and six. The Eagles wrap up the NFC East. Congratulations to Andy Reid. He also ties Greasy Neal. A big day for the Philadelphia Eagles. A final of 27 to 6. They win the NFC East for the fourth consecutive year. They were too much for Eli Manning, and I'm sure those two would have plenty to talk about. They weren't standing at midfield. Donovan McNabb has learned in this league, and now Eli Manning learning in this league. It wasn't easy today against the Eagles. For Troy Aikman, Chris Collinsworth, Cam Oliver, Artie Kempner, Richie Zions, I'm Joe Buck. So long from the Meadowland.